Arizona. Just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Disclaimer. This video, like all videos featured on this channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. This video is likely to contain profane language. Content is inappropriate for minors. Video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Jump Show. Not an Always help is needed. Welcome to the Dr. Green Thumb Show live on Twitch, YouTube, Discord, and the home site, www.bereal.tv. What it do? Dr. Green Thumb, hello. We got a special guest in the building, actress, comedian, um, former model, Rachel Sterling up in here. Hello. 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 We also have DJ C-, minus, Mr. Good Light. What up, everybody? And the legendary Psycho Leezy in the building. Salute, salute. Cheers. The Treehouse Crew, Bolton Blombo, Bra Bra, and the Dominator. Cheers. And Mr. Talk Milligrams, Ezo. The three Musketeers are there up there today. The three Musketeers. <laughs> yeah. The three Stooges. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh damn. 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 The other, damn. That's the other interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good that's pretty good off top there you go Lizzie. i gotta say rachel yes you've been busy doing a lot of uh comedy these days i have i have i um i had a right before covid i got into comedy uh because i had a mental breakdown that's usually why women go into comedy i think something something happens and triggers us to want to talk a lot but um yeah, and then I just kind of, then COVID happened. Yeah. And I somehow, it was like, everyone else like, there's no comedy. I'm like, yeah, there is. You just got to get in a car and drive, like somewhere else other than California. So like Texas, they didn't have COVID there. Right. So, <laughs> so you had to go to. <laughs> there's a lot of yeah. places that are just like, no, we're not, we're not doing, we don't do COVID here. So yeah, so I just driving around and. Doing sets in those doing places. Doing sets and clocking in the time. It's a lot of time. It takes, it, it's a, it takes a long time. You moved there for that time? No, I would just book shows and go. Okay, that, yeah. So you did it. Ran my car into yeah. the ground. <laughs> you were, you were originally doing modeling back in the day, and yeah. you know the, our friend, our mutual friend Estevan, photographed you many times. You were in a couple yeah. of his his coffee table books as well. Um, yeah. What was the transition like going from from model to comedian? It's um, well, there's a lot in between from model to comedian. I was acting because yeah, you were acting yeah. as well, yeah. Um, I would say that it's very similar. I mean, there's just like a lot of similarities. You know, before that, I started out as a dancer, an exotic dancer. Then I went to right. modeling. You know, I think they call it um, glamour modeling. Glamour modeling now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's what they call it now. Um, then, you know, I went to mainstream modeling, stuff like that, music videos, whatever. So by the time it got to doing... Uh, stand up. Everyone was like, "Oh, you're sure you want to go into that? Because it's it's really brutal. People are really mean." And I was like, "I was a working model in the '90s and the early 2000s. So I'm like, there's nothing anyone can say to me any meaner than like what my agents and like and some of the photographers, right? Oh yeah, I've had a photographer like, I can slim your, I can I can slim your body <laughs> down. I can't do anything with your face. You have to lose weight. And I was like, Jesus, you know what I mean? <laughs> wow. but, that was the 90s, you know, like, <laughs> shit was, and he wasn't wrong, you know what I mean? Like, if I wanted to be valued for something else, I guess I should have not like worn a bikini. Meanest thing you <laughs> could say to somebody who's, like, in shape. 
you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, like it's one thing when you say it to like a fat person, but like if it's like the person's in shape, that's just got to hurt 10 times more. It's that, like, bro, that's like, what they do to all the models, though, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, they, they fuck with your head. Like you don't understand. I mean, I mean, nowadays the Photoshop, is that's what they do, right? Every every picture probably they're touching you. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Like you guys were held to I a different standard. I, get, I don't get pissed because I do like a filter sometimes, but I, I do... Often I have said, I'm not mad. I'm just mad y'all get to eat. <laughs> now it's body positive. Ugh. I'm like, oh, oh, now it's okay. This is all okay because we didn't have things to make us this impossible thing. We had to be, Perfect. we had Perfect. to make ourselves the impossible thing. Like yeah. it's a lot of time, a lot of like, I wish I could eat that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could eat that. A lot of exercising that you don't want to do. Um, remember Frankie B. Jeans when all the girls wore those? Yeah, yeah I remember that. You, those, they came in a size cocaine. They were so <laughs> tiny. They were so <laughs> tiny. And I used to wear them, and I wish I would have kept them. Those bitches wouldn't even go on my thigh now. I'm just like, I just want to like be like, I wore these. You, I fit you, in these. At one point. At one point. Uh, at one point. But your, yeah. It, your Aunt Rachel was cool. The, <laughs> the standard was different back then. Yeah, it was... Well, also, the, you know. And they didn't have the technology to Photoshop half that shit. No, they really didn't. Yeah. It just had to be it. And also, I don't know. It was this, we all kind of, no offense, guys. You know, I hate when people say the misogyny. But it was kind of like we all did it. Yeah. Even women. We just kind of bought into, like, that's that's the standard of beauty. And that's the look. Yeah. We didn't really think about it. Like Nobody the, said, wait up. No one said, hey, self-respect. That, that, we were that's like, fuck the thing. That. Chicks had to cheat to look like y'all. Yeah. So. Wow. You know? Because yeah. that was the standard. <laughs> I didn't even know that you could buy a fake ass until four years ago. I had no clue. <laughs> I had. I was like, this the, this girl's so beautiful. I'm like, look at her body. That's crazy. And I was like, I used to have an ass like that when I was 19. You know, I was just like, wow, it's amazing. And someone's like, this, her ass is fake. And I'm like, huh. how? How how does one have a fake ass? <laughs> and then also, because she right? wasn't white. She was Latina. So I was like, how do you not? I don't tr just eat something. Just eat something. <laughs> do some squats. Just do some squats and eat something. Yeah. It's not hard. <laughs> Come to my house. You'll have a ass by a uh, week. You know, yeah, there's that Brazilian butt workout. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Where it's like yeah. all all leg and glute, everything. Leg it's day like every day. All you yeah, leg day every day. Every day. Ass of steel. Yep. 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 If you choose to have this, there are you know aside from like you know getting injected. For it, you, you know, know what I'm saying? It didn't really become super popular, like you said, four years ago. We were what we were shut down, like about four years ago, right? Yeah. And so it's like a lot. Of, it became really popular, but we still don't know the repercussions of these things somewhere down the line because it just became more accessible. It's like when I look at some of the homies or some other people would be like, "Yeah, I got this hair transplant." I was like, "Dude, what if that turns into like hot spots in your head like ten years from now?" Hot right? spots in your I head. Think you know what I mean? Because you don't. You these don't are know. these are procedures and new things that are being tried out. Just like how the fake titties came out at first, and now like those fake titties don't look like the new ones, and they feel different. You're like, "Yo, uh, sir, my fake titties are the same set. These have been here <laughs> since 1997." <laughs> Durable. But I'm talking about like 1997. That was like a when, Ford car. They don't make them. Like <laughs> <laughs> but that wasn't Loyalty. the first. Ruined. That wasn't the first gen, though, right? Like that. I I sometimes feel like it was. I don't know. Someone that that thing where someone was murdered and they could tell who it was by the serial numbers. I was like, do I even have serial numbers? Like. <laughs> is my doctor just like blowing them up and do, you know. Do the bags have serial numbers? Wow. I don't I even know, know if I do. That had zero numbers. That's like yeah. iPod, pretty much. That yeah, would be in yeah. product. Yeah, it's, it, every everyone's different, so it's like it's they have your name written down somewhere with the serial number. Huh. So if they find one of your implants, though. So, no. I would imagine they have to just for safety purposes. What's in that bag? Yeah. And who did go out to? Are they allergic allergic to it or whatever? What's in the you know, box? Yeah. What's in the fucking box? You know what? What's in the box? I wanted to ask you this because you know I I do comedy myself and. Um, you know, like, I feel that sometimes when you're like, you know how you say you went because it was a mental breakdown? Oh, yeah. And I feel that sometimes when you're going through some shit, it's like the best time, not like maybe like to really go up there, but like you really kind of transition into like the, in a whole other place. And you you just you're like, what the hell? I didn't know I had that in me when you get when you're kind of going through that. Like did yeah. you, when you came out, did you come out hot because you were like going through that from a mental breakdown or like how did? 
how was that transition like in regards to material and like performing like were you like scared at first you had to go through like open mic phase or were you just like damn i'm going through some shit i gotta let it out um let's see i started doing it because i was my I've been married three times, so I have a lot of material. <laughs> <laughs> you got a <laughs> but, lifetime. Uh, you know, a lifetime of material. But, uh, you know, my third marriage failed, and I was, you know, it, my friend was like, I, I, she completed some class, and she, she was like, um, uh, I have my show, can you come? And I go, I guess, and she goes, you're going to get up, you're going to wash your hair, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to shower, <laughs> and you're going to come watch this. And uh, so I was dragged out, and she was just so great, and I was so impressed with her, and I, I, for all the acting I've done and all the things you would think uh, require bravery, uh, talking in front of an audience without a camera used to scare the living shit out of me. Yeah, that's that's actually harder. And it still yeah. does. If there's no microphone, it scares the living shit out of me. So um, she was like, oh, you should take this class as well. And at the time, I was trying to write you know, my memoirs. And uh, she's like, it'd be great for writing because you have to be authentic. You know what I mean? You have to help people remember things yeah. and so I took it did the class and I just really liked it and I think it's because in the house that I grew up in you know my mom was special so <laughs> <laughs> so we weren't allowed to talk back oh, she was so there was right. a lot of I said yes ma'am no ma'am yeah uh, you know my mom, will, I'm afraid to this day parents so didn't like, play back in that no time, they no. did not she just not she did Damn, not where's your mom from Texas Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That sounds strict. Corpus Christi. <laughs> oh, yeah. She ain't fucking around. <laughs> she was like Selena's dad. <laughs> like... She ain't fucking around. She ain't fucking around. So I didn't have a voice, really. And then when you're modeling, no one pays you for your voice. Yeah. And it was probably best not to use it. And then for acting, you know, I, I did a lot of really small parts and really big projects. So I was paid to do, say what they wanted me to say. And um, then finally... I can just say whatever I want to say. And the weird, I have a lot of weird shit that goes through my head <laughs> that I've always suppressed. I just suppress, you can't say that out loud. I can't say that. And now I get paid for like all the dumb shit, the dark shit, uh -huh. dumb shit, shit you are not supposed to say. I say it and they go, yay. And it's, it's <laughs> I could have been living this life the whole yeah. time. You found, you found the platform for the crazy yeah. thoughts, it's right? So yeah. Oh, yeah. The intrusive it, thoughts. Hell yeah, there is. So intrusive. There is that, <laughs> so intrusive. <laughs> there is that, like, feeling that you get, like, some kind of liberty if you're in, like, the right room. Like, if I make a black joke, you know what I mean? And, like, it hits and you're like, some people, if I say it on here, people would be like, somebody might be like, that was offensive. Dude, I see the black fools laughing at that at the comedy club. Yeah. And I'm just like, I knew this shit was Well, that's funny, how, bro. you know, that's, <laughs> like, everybody is very sensitized these days. Yeah. And that's why everybody's like, Phew. You know, depending on the joke you tell, you know. Yeah, but how, you see two interpretations. Yeah, yeah. for sure. No, you're right. How, how nervous were you on your first set? I wasn't at all. Oh, you weren't. You, you were, were ready for it. You know Bye. why? Is because I don't know if you've ever been to this club called Flappers. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've heard the of it. The main stage. Does it not look like a deja vu tip rail? Or something With like the, couch, the old right? school one. Yeah. It looks like it looks like I should have been bending down to get dollars. So to me, I was like, oh, it's the same shit. Same sh same thing because they ask you what music you want. Sometimes you cry backstage. <laughs> yeah. People are staring at you and you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so sometimes there's someone that's sitting there with their arms crossed. The same thing. It's the exact same thing as being a stripper. You are risen on there. It's so just the same. Place. It's just you get to say things. <laughs> no, I just talk now. I talk yeah. now and keep my clothes on. There you go. Wow. Easy gig. Easy gig. Well, you know, but, you know, like it, for me, I always thought, you know, being a comedian would be a tougher gig mm -hmm. than being a, a musician. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Because the the point is to be making people laugh the whole time. You ever had some fools pull up? Like like that like when they seen you from your dancing days and they're like, Yo, oh, you were dancing. You know what? Oh, they especially look for you, oh, right? Oh, you know what? <laughs> it's um I think the comedy happened at the right time because I, I am not a spring chicken. So I've had a lot of time to digest, deal with you know, because for a long time, I just wanted to put that part of my life away and pretend it didn't exist at right. all because, um, you know, it, it was really hard to go mainstream. People made you feel guilty for making a living. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, well, if I could go back in time, I would, but I can't. So <laughs> what's it to you? Why do you care so much? So now I've had all this time, just the industry in general, it just makes... I, I feel like I was so tame in comparison to what people just do 
on Instagram. You know what I yeah. mean? You're, you're just they're just doing the most for a, for some likes. Absolutely. So I'm like, I made thousands of dollars, so at least <laughs> at least I made money. But like, um, yeah, I think it came at the right time because I, if it would happen any sooner, I wouldn't have known how to handle people that still are those fans. Right. Um, because I've had fans for what since. 2007. So, and they've stuck with me for every, yeah. weird, every weird time. I'm like, no, I'm doing this. I'm doing yeah. this. Like, all right, I'm with you. And uh, sometimes I do, like, obviously, I can't bring this magazine. I'm like, I really wish I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're respectful. Right. But there was a time when that probably would have weirded me out because I wouldn't want anyone else to know. And now that I am the age I am and comfortable, I'm like, it's like I whatever. mean, if you're still talking about that, that was a long time ago. They, they, that's impact. You know? You know, that's impact. impact. Yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> did, did you have a, a stripper name? I did. What was it? It was Angel Vale. Vale? Was it right. Angel Vale? That was no. me. Vale. Yeah. Veil. Veil. Like, 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 not a veil. veil. Like Veil. Like veil. V. A Veil, yeah. Yeah, right on. Yeah. That's a very unique performing name. Yeah. You know, what's crazy is... is there was probably a lot of fans of you then that transitioned with you oh, yeah. into being Rachel now, the yeah. model and actress. Yeah, they, well, they've come with me, so. Yeah, they've come with you, like, from that day to now. It's because it, the reason I asked is because I have George Perez does a strip club. He, he's, he's a DJ at a strip club. And there's not one show where you won't see some strippers that are not working, pulling up to go support him while he's doing comedy. So I'm just saying, like these, you develop your fans, and some of them that like they're really about you. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I want to go judge the. Does Deja Vu has this like Showgirl of the Year contest? I mean, do you guys know? He's nodding. He's like, yeah. I was a judge. <laughs> <laughs> so he probably was. He so, DJ. He DJed probably. I, yeah, I DJed yeah. at one of the. I DJed at Deja Vu once. Which one? The one in Torrance. There's one. Well, there's one everywhere. Yeah, there's, there's one yeah. everywhere. Yeah, it but, used to be hundreds of pr pretty girls and three ugly ones. Now it's thousands of pretty girls yeah. and three ugly ones. Yeah. And I was like, I always it's, thought that was. I don't know why I thought that was so funny. I'm like, it's because it's true. No, I don't know. Why. <laughs> the, the scenario flips. <laughs> Just yeah. cracked me up. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they have they have they have these competitions, and I I was very competitive, so I obviously I entered these competitions, and um, I was like, now I'm like, I want to judge one. It wouldn't even hurt my career. It'd be like a bump up for my career. Because it's just like, <laughs> not even that I want to make fun of it, because these girls work fucking hard. They yeah. have to have a talent. Yeah. They gotta, and I, they got to deal with assholes. They got to deal with assholes. They have to, like, come up with a theme set. Like, they have to come up with all the props and stuff, because of, like, were, spinning were, things. Were you and, doing, like, the pole dancing and all that? I did. I used to think it was really great, and then now I'm... Because that's I, a skill. And yeah, itself. that's a workout. Yeah, that's, well, that's like you gotta have skills. I've seen some crazy things. Like that's, I mean, honestly, it, it, when I transitioned over, no one. There's so many girls that did music videos that were strippers, but they didn't want to tell. Mm -hmm. And I unfortunately was so dumb. I used my stage name uh, <laughs> to do other stuff because in my mind, I'm like, unless you're a pervert, you wouldn't know. There's a lot of perverts. Um, <laughs> yeah. My agent's like, you need to change your name immediately. Oh. Change it. Change it back. Um, but like, you know, uh, one of the things I'm known for most is the next episode video. It's because I was like, I can do it. You know what I mean? So I, all these music videos full work. So I did that video, that video, that video. So when it came time to do the other one, I got paid so much money. And it's like, they I guess they took insurance out. Mm. So I wasn't. I was joking around, and they're like, no, you actually can't move. You have. They to didn't want out. you to get hurt. No, the yeah. only time you can move is to the pole. And you have to sit because like, they didn't want me tripping, falling, doing anything because wow. they had paid money to insure my ass. So I was like, yeah. oh, I'm for serious. OK. They want nothing happening. Yeah. And then I no liability, no here. liability. And then we I choreographed for Dr. Dre for the Source Awards. And then it never got seen by anyone because a fight broke out. Right. And everybody got cleared out. So Damn. I was like, all that hard work trying to teach these bitches how to climb a pole. I'm like, get up there. Because <laughs> you have these really pretty girls that aren't dancers and right. they think they can learn it really quickly. I'm like, no. No. It takes a while. It it's takes, core, a while. takes a strong core. It takes a strong core. Yeah, for real. Right? It takes, get a lot, you gotta be okay with getting bruises. That too. <laughs> Falling. Someone, someone beat the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Are falls uh, are falls pretty like imminent? Like like if the higher you go.
Falls are, are possible. I would imagine. You start low, though. Right. I was a psycho. Like, I would go. We had levels in San Francisco where I worked. And so I would go during the day and practice. Like, that's so competitive. I was such a weirdo. <laughs> I had one job. I did it well. Um, yeah, because I didn't do dirty dances. So I had to, like, really make up for it with the show. <laughs> so I was like... Yeah, they hated me. I would do like a 20 minute set and they're like, what is wrong with you? Just do a normal set and be done with it. And I was like, no, it has to be a certain thing. Poor DJ. That's what they what's when we had CDs. And I had six CDs for one set. I'm gonna play this to this point, and then I want the lights. And then I was just so <laughs> intricate. And he's like, This, Damn, it's like a this show, fucking a real bitch. Show. <laughs> this fucking bitch. <laughs> this fucking bitch. You made him work. I made him work. Made his Probably ass work. Hated me. Probably hated me. <laughs> yeah, like now girls just give him like a USB drive, if that. Just that's like, sick. Yeah, like they'll be like, hey, I have this uh, already. Just play this. Yeah, and I mean, that's easy. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, like that's very enough. easy. But like when she's talking about it, it was like, push stop here, then go. Then oh, it was, it was. Also, it was the olden times. It was the 1900s. So yeah, <laughs> wow. the 1900s. It was yeah. in the 1900s. <laughs> The late oh. 1900s. <laughs> the late 1900s. Yeah, I know. Don't we all lived good. in that time. We did. Let's put it this way. No cell phones. Like, I think I yeah. had just gotten a big Nokia phone. It was like this weird, it was kind of like Lip. this yeah. little odd shaped thing. Yeah. And I never used it. I just got it because everyone else had it. Like, I only knew two people. Was I going to call my mom? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I had a pager. I had those little beepers. I just put it on my keys. So when I lost my keys, because who? No one was calling me. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. just like everyone. I I was a kid. What I? <laughs> yeah. You. It's what you need a beeper for. Yeah. Right. What I do? I have. I had four friends. <laughs> 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 I still probably only have four friends. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. Well, you know, that's a tight circle. Tight. It's, yeah. It's it's getting. Yeah. It gets. It's really. <laughs> still I keep, No. Um. Yeah. Do you plan any gigs late? Uh. Soon. I just got done, so I had, um, I decided to produce a show called Sterling Stand Up, because I'm an egomaniac and I had to have my own name in it, and so we were kind of farting around in LA doing stuff, and I just took it, we have our new home is in um, La Jolla, California at the Comedy Store, so that's, nice. I went to high school out there, so for me that was like, to see the name up there, it's kind of like that's wh awesome. what we were talking about, like, you know, all that stuff that I've done before, I never thought that I would have like I'm my whole name up there and be responsible for a whole show in my own hometown. On the marquee in the you hometown. You know, yeah, it was yeah. a good feeling. Congratulations, son. It was that. a good That's feeling. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm usually fairly modest. I go, oh, it was no big deal. But I was like, no, I'm going to give myself this, this one. Yeah. I'm going to give myself this one. This was hard work. People have to give themselves yeah. one more yeah. often. Yeah. You know yes. what I mean? Every now and then, give yourself a pat on the yeah. back for. For what you've been able to do. Yeah. Treat yourself. Yeah. Treat yourself. I think our generation that we were taught to not do that. Just work. <laughs> right. Just work. But at the same time, if you're not first, you're fucking last and you're a loser. So it's like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have those. <laughs> that I had, part. I had, that I, had part. That, I had that growing up. It's the so. catch 22. Yeah. yeah. You ain't first, you're last. I'm first, yeah. you're last and you're a loser. You know, I want to talk to the winners, not the losers. <laughs> you're like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh, it's it's a tough it's a tough life, boy. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. There's a reason I uh, was naked when I was 19, and now I do stand up comedy. There's re like <laughs> lots of trauma that I haven't dealt. <laughs> That's like a roller coaster ride there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, dips and valleys. The, <laughs> yeah. dips, dips and valleys. Yep. Yeah. And 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 the what do they call it? The fucking loop. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The loop? What's the yeah. loop? Well, you know when you go when they take you on the loop and you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, you end up right I can't remember what the fuck it's actually. You mean full circle? Really yeah, that loop? too. I'm confused. <laughs> well, you know, on a roller coaster ride, you've got oh, the twist, the, the turns, the, the, thing. the loop. Yeah, 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 I got yeah it. that's yeah. life. <laughs> that is, that that is. Life. shit. Life will bring you back to something, and you realize why you did everything you did. Man, one hundred percent. And it actually helps you grow for where you're at at, the, at that moment. <laughs> I think the kids call that Mercury in retrograde. All right. Yeah, I'll take that. It's <laughs> true. Let's Do you go. believe in all that stuff? You, you? Yeah. You? I believe yeah. that. You're yeah, a crystal up yeah. your ass right now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. He does. Hell no. The Keister crystal. Yeah. <laughs> it's a new, it's a new uh, product they make. The Keister plug. The Keister oh. crystal. I I'm sh I'm, I'm, wouldn't be surprised if they don't have it. They like, probably do. I okay. had a girl tell me that she had, she had a crystal for her armpits. 
Really? Or, like she didn't use deodorant. Gross. What? But she just, she's like, I have a crystal. And I said, shut your fucking face and go put on the deodorant. <laughs> 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 well, no, no, that, no, we're that, not doing that. That, that, that. that crystal ain't, um, you know, guarding the funk. Oof. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you think. I can smell your aura. <laughs> your aura is very odiferous. Smell your aura. Hey, Sweaty burnt. crystal. Oh. Yeah, for real. Yeah. How about you? Are you into crystals and mercury? Yeah, and mercury? definitely. Definitely. I'm into stones and all. Things. Do you but, understand? But I don't put them under my arm or up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. <laughs> just more like a tray or a yeah, bowl. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, I just, yeah. just like just fucking put them in the corner of your the house. feeling it gives me. Huh? Yeah. Supposedly, you should put them in your water. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. That? But what that? you think that's real, though? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I think he, that's just, he, he just put them in like a like I don't know. You have a shelf, and you just put like two or three of them in your house, and just yeah, you could put them throughout the house. Yeah, just, really. <laughs> yeah. But it just the energy that they're, it gives off is that they're what supposed, you're supposed to, to amplify take? a certain yeah. energy. Each different crest, crystal uh, amplifies oh. different energy. Some yeah. of some of it's healing. Some of it's like just yeah. some of, vibes, some of the shit just looks cool, bro. Like and it, that too. It does. Yeah, like you're just like, oh, all right, bro, where so the fuck is this And they from? feel good too. Some of them, you know, they yeah. feel good. It's like a lucky, what did we have when we were kids? A little lucky rabbit foot. was so disgusting yeah. that we had walked around with that. Uh, uh, a dead, dead rabbit key, foot. Key chain. They made us That's think good luck. the rabbit's thing, foot was good luck. Oh, God, That's we good, walked around with that yeah. nasty thing That's in our nasty. pocket. Here, I got you. I got you a then lucky rabbit foot. they made you foot. look for a four-leaf clover, which we don't have here. Yeah, but we looked. But we looked. <laughs> that was a real thing? Yeah. Yeah. Looking for yeah. the, if I keep finding the three leaf, but yeah. never the four. Because if it was, it was God just the, uh, you know, the lore was that if you found a four, le- you know, four leaf clover, you were gonna, it's good luck. Whatever. Did you guys good. ever find one? No, because no, we, because yeah. like they don't exist said, here. They don't. But Where we do looked. Exist? Ireland. I think other places. Maybe was, they're genetically engineered to get them now, but like yeah. as a little kid, it just kept you busy. Yeah, this is what just keeps you busy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. keep your mind. So, <laughs> say, hey, Timmy, <laughs> go outside and look for a four leaf clover. It's good luck. It's oh good God. luck. It really is just that you want Timmy to, you know, go, go away, occupy himself yeah. for a while. Did you have a fucking pet rock? My mom gave me a fucking pet rock. A pet rock. And I was so happy to have it. I was like, my pet rock. <laughs> I did not have it. Was it, a, was it a cool rock? I was such a gullible child. Did it look, did it look crazy? Yeah, it was all right. He was like, yay, big. It had. I named it Moon Shadow. It had like you named it. Yeah. Did you have conver- it was the seventies? You had. You, <laughs> did you have conversations with Moon Shadow? Yeah, I had conversations with a lot of anatomy. If a rock could a talk, kid. Yeah. yeah. I was a really interesting little kid because I was an only kid. So ah. yeah, I was. My mom was. My mom was ready to be a mom either, so she would just indulge anything. That imag- like she was like, you need more imaginary friends. <laughs> Let's go find <laughs> I mean, some of those. <laughs> I definitely believe rocks and all kind of stones, they hold some kind of energy. Yeah. If you really think about every pyramid, everything they ever built was out of rocks and stones and, and they you know they do carry a certain plan. energy, yeah. 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 No doubt. I mean that little rock you were carrying around, you you put energy on it by like in, interacting with it. You I know? did. I made it a real thing. I lost it. I cried like somebody died. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you lose it? Where'd you? Um, we moved and oh, no one and, knew what happened to it. And, and I, you forgot it in the move or something. No, but I was like, it's it's sad. No one's gonna feed it. Where is it gonna sleep? My mom's like, it's a rock. <laughs> That's when she got real. Yeah. It's a rock, Rachel. It's Reality rock. sunk in. It's a rock. It's a rock. <laughs> Can get another rock in the next town. Yeah. It'd all be said. different. Pick one right here. She kind of ruined my childhood a little bit for that. That was <laughs> that's where it started. That's where my trust <laughs> issues no. really started. <laughs> Origin. Hey, better a rock than a dog. It's true. Because I can't tell you how many parents, like when they got tired of the dog, the family yeah. dog. They just, you know, took it somewhere. Like back in the day. Back in the day. Just left when we out. were kids. Because, you know, most mm-hmm. of us except for him are in that 50 group or f- late 40s, early 50s. You know, our parents, they didn't take it to the pound or, you know, <laughs> things like that. We're taking it to the nearest park and we're going to let it run free. <laughs> and then they lie to you and say it's on a farm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not on a farm. Oh yeah, never. I was, was. like, I want to go to this place. There's a lot of dogs and pets on this farm. <laughs> yeah, on the bridge. You, t- you define you as a kid. You're finding yourself asking where the dogs at. Ooh, parents straight lie to you right Jeez there. Face. 
Elias. Hey, who let who let him out? Who let him out? <laughs> who let the dog out? Who? 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 A uh, neighbor walked by her for some reason. They opened our gate. I don't know what happened to the dog right now. It's a party. <laughs> the dog's living his best life somewhere else now. Fuck. Best life. <laughs> it's a dog's life. The dog's life. Although I would want to come back as one of my pets. My pets are all spoiled. If you come back to a good owner, yes. Mm. Yes. Dog life is good. Yeah. Because you could be getting trafficked or something. Cage. Or eight. Yeah, that's Always. interesting that you would say the dog got trafficked. It's usually a per. A, yeah, it's usually I don't a think person. You really yeah. made it worse by saying, <laughs> I was like, it's "Wow, when you say it like that." <laughs> so basically, like instead of like puppy mills, these female dogs are being trafficked and forced to breed with these. Yeah. Getting a or, train or, pulled or so, on them, so. and I, <laughs> well, you th- I mean, if you're humanizing it, can you imagine if th- I was a person? That'd be terrible. That would be terrible. <laughs> He's just unlocked a whole new thing. I'm gonna stay. Up well, it is like terrible. worrying about <laughs> <laughs> new time. terror unlocked. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, we don't even know what <laughs> to say a, after we that. We took a turn over we there. Did, it went dark. It went dark. Yeah. Um, new topic. Back to the light. Back to the light. <laughs> we should have like a spinny thing. To, like new yeah. topic. New, to- new yeah. topic. Yeah. A topic will yeah. talk. A topic, if you will. Spe- All right. Well, you know, I'll just switch it up. Look, hey, uh, we got <laughs> we got <laughs> we got a pair of tickets to All Time High. <laughs> How do you say good to that? Mm-hmm. Uh, you put <laughs> put the hashtag Be Real TV in the super chat for a chance to win a free pair of tickets to All Time High going down May fourth. Must be 18 years of age with the valid photo ID. Claim tickets in person. No refunds, no exchanges. We'll uh, pick the winner this Friday. So uh, stay locked in. And, um, you know, all time high. It's going to be popping Cypress Hill, Bone Thugs and Harmony, 3 Six Mafia, Ghostface Killer Burner, Dilated People's Far Side, Psycho Realm, Souls of Mischief, and um, Dr. Green Thumb will be hosting. Burner. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. People have been asking me if I'm going to do any songs with Burn this day. We haven't really talked about it. But, Boring like, it. you got you a, know. like a few projects. I, yeah, we, yeah. We got uh, three albums or something like that together. Well, maybe four. Yeah, we have one coming later. Crazy. Been doing a lot of work. <laughs> have you ever opened up for, like, a, you know, like a, a music event yet? Have you done that one? I don't think if I have. No. Are there any sort of like events that you got on your checklist that you want to hit as like a comedian now? Um, I really want to do like the USO things. Um, oh, really? On the basis here, obviously not. Um, yeah. I don't want to travel for that. But um, yeah, I just kind of, I want to do, it sounds cheesy as fuck, but I want to, I want to, take my show I, I have this show called slay that i do at christmas so it's like comedy it's comedy it's singing it's cabaret dancing all that stuff mm-hmm. and it's a like a proper show i'm like oh this would be a great thing to have on a cruise but it has to be like i don't know sponsored by tinder or something because that way because if you do comedy on a regular cruise you have to have a clean set right i don't have a clean set I don't have a clean set. Like, the word cunt falls out of my mouth all the time. <laughs> the more I t- try not to say the F word. The more it, it happens. Just, yeah. yeah. It's so all my stuff's about being married and dating guys that are 20 years younger than me. Like, nobody wants to hear that with their kid. So it's like right. we need, like, everyone. That's, that's crazy that they, you know. They they're allow, hiding their kids. <laughs> that, that they have, that, that they allow the kids to go into you know, a comedy, you know, a comedy show. Well, if it's like a that. cruise, like it, it's like a family cruise. Like that's why a lot of comics are doing like a, like what is incredible. The guys will do the, the, the jokes. There's no kid cruises, right? <laughs> no, there is kid cruises. Like but no, like kid, no, no kid kids. cruises. Oh, there. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like an adult cruise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They, do, they do have those. And uh, I think Felipe Esparza just did something with, what's the incredible jokers or the pranksters, the guys who make jokes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, those three guys, they, they had their own crews and it was like Burt Kreiser, uh, uh, the, the black eyed show that you went on and he destroys the set. I forget his name. Eric Andre. Eric Andre. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. There was some, there was some hitters on that, on that show, on that, on that, uh, cruise. 
And Felipe talks about it on this podcast, and he says he's like, yeah, bro. He's like, you see some different people in there, like wearing a lot of pineapples there. You know? Yeah, you those know? are swingers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And then he didn't know that whole deal, wow. and they brought him a pineapple, and he was like, he was, <laughs> like, he was gonna eat it. He's like, this? cause I'm vegan. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's it, it's funny to hear about that. But yeah, he said there was a lot of uh, that's like an adult cruise, like it's yeah. all comedy and stuff, and. They bring you a pineapple? <clears throat> no, well, the, some of the people, a lot of the people <laughs> in there are swingers. So, like, if you see a lot of pineapple stuff, like within the couples, if they're wearing like pineapple patterns or something, or if you yeah, see a pineapple at the door, the it's that's, like anything. Oh, yeah, no. That, the, that's a hint. This is how that's they communicate hint. to each other when they're like at an event <laughs> or something like that, where it's like, hey, <gasps> you see some pineapple that's shorts you at a vacation it, place? Yeah, yeah. I yes. accidentally. Oh, Pineappled, and I didn't mean to, so which would explain a lot of my interactions with people that um, day. Probably, yeah. I had no idea. They're, I had all this. They're probably asking, stuff. "Where was your man at?" Yeah, where's your man? The, yeah, there's always a lot of pineapple. Yeah, you always know couples that want to fuck you because they're both smiling. Like, like I don't know, they smile too much, and they're like, "Oh my god, what's wrong with you guys?" <laughs> They've got that. I've done Molly smile. They're right. Like, um, <laughs> yeah, because I had like earrings and some other stuff because I'm allergic to pineapple as well. So people think it's funny to give me stuff. So I'm just rocking on my pineapple. <laughs> I had no idea what it I was is, doing. You were oh, given no. a false signal. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. oh man. You're not gonna wear your pineapple shit no more. No. <laughs> they, yeah, they had they had this story <laughs> on on uh, NBC. A while oh. back, I don't know how it made the news like that, but they were saying this is you know like when. People are doing swinger parties. If they live at a house or an apartment building, they leave a pineapple at the door so the swinger like a jack o' lantern. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah, like a oh, jack o' lantern. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. wow. It's you know a little communication so that they're not you know giving it away. Other people that didn't know, they would just be like, "What the fuck is this pineapple?" Felipe what did say, that, "What do they got a a, a luau happening back?" That's wow. what I would think. I would think it's a Hawaiian themed party. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he did say that a lot of the people that were into the pineapple business did look like Walmart people. <laughs> it's never the people you want to see naked that are like, "Do you want to watch us fuck?" Like, no, I actually don't. Yeah. I would pay you money to not do that. <laughs> yeah. It's, hey, you know, yeah, pay you money to stop. Please stop. Please A friend stop. of mine had said same, kind of similar thing about nude beaches. He's like, nude beaches are never what you expect. You think in your head, oh my it's god, old I'm gonna see nothing <laughs> but beautiful people, and you get there, and you're like, is there beautiful people here? Like, it's, where are they it's at? Grandma and yeah, it's yeah. old. It's old fools grandpa. in there, like retirement. They're just like, oh yeah. Well, yeah. I'm trying things out. It's grandma and grandpa. <laughs> yeah. Feeling free as fuck. Free as fuck. <laughs> There's out there like, just like some wrinkled yeah. balls and just sad oh, out. So, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, no. bro. I didn't yeah. even know you had. Okay, so this is funny. So my mom, <laughs> it's the seventies. Every chance I say, what ha What were you thinking? She goes, it's the seventies. So we would go to Black's Beach, which is this beach in San Diego, where it's a nude beach. And I was so young that these are the naked kids. But you're, you're a kid. You don't think anything of yeah. it. And also, it was you know the time and i didn't know that you kept your bathing suit on at beaches because i'd never been to a regular beach until i was going with my friend and their church group <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh and i start disrobing and they're like what no no like, what are you doing yeah and i was still a little i was still a kid but i definitely was too old to be taking off my clothes and she the parents were like why do you? Why are you taking your clothes off? I'm like, why do you have them on? You know, what I, mean? I had no idea. And then they all had to go in the circle and pray because I was right. Yeah, and they had to like take me home. She's way too much. <laughs> yeah. Like, were you on a retreat or what? It was just well, because my okay. So I was raised Jewish, and then my mom decided we're going back to Catholic, which was I was baptized against my will, um, and then. These are, the, these are the Christian friends. You know, the Christian friends always do the stuff. They always have yeah. so many activities. So yeah. many activities. Activities. I love to pray in public, which is fine, but it was like, <laughs> so a lot. Like, again? We're doing it again. Okay, cool. And so it was one of those, and everyone's so nice, and I didn't know, and I was a kid. So at least I wasn't a teenager, thank God, but I've just, they're like, no, you keep, no, clothes are on. I'm like, why? <laughs> oh, man. Wow. I didn't know. I didn't know any better. Yeah. All the the ladies were covering the eyes of their husbands for mm. sure. Well, Don't you look at her, right? Well, I was I was ten, so uh, well still. <laughs> yeah. There's hey, 
all pedophiles the, these days. throughout time. <gasps> what know? the fuck with all the pedophiles, yeah, y'all? I, y'all. Getting, get, you know, they're getting you know called was, out. You know what I just thought maybe would be crazy? I don't know if it's out there. Maybe like uh, comedy porn. Comedy porn. I'm, like, you'll just be <laughs> naked saying jokes. Oh, God. Nobody wants that. that That's work. probably on OnlyFans somewhere. No, there's Somebody's probably some that. guy doing yeah, dad I mean, jokes. I mean, hey, it's yeah. just a, like, wow, that would be crazy. Let me get uh, some of that beer. Porn comedy. He's going to want some of that beer after that comedy. I hear yeah, like, I was yeah. like, wow. Something comedy porn. About. You know how there's like two, like it's things you're not every... supposed to mix at drug wise? I think like, like entertainment wise are the things you're not supposed to mix. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. orange juice and toothpaste. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with orange juice? Not for the weak months. Yeah. Yeah. You never drink orange juice after brushing. Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I, I meant like you won't die. It's just no, no, no. no it just tastes disgusting. horrible. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. The contrast. It does. I was gonna yeah. say, ain't anybody gonna be listening to the comedy if you're doing porn comedy or nude comedy? You're gonna be all sweaty. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're like, why are you talking? Do something. Like it works out for the podcast it's a thing. Show. Like with like you know they have that plug talk podcast where like you get an interview and then you fuck afterwards, but like. I just don't see like I don't know. We're gonna do some that. comedy. What the we're gonna fuck vote. are you watching? <laughs> what it, podcast is this? It's it's uh no jumper. It's uh, called <clears throat> Plug Talk, and he does it with his lady, and they like interview like porn stars, and then they fuck afterwards. Oh wow, for real, oh, or like uh, like any performer and stuff like that. But yeah, if you That's... go on there, you're gonna bone. Oh, I'm oh definitely wow. Not uh, they know beforehand. Oh okay. Yeah, no, they, okay. Like... Well, cause cause they they have adult film stars. That they do this with, like Man. purposefully, because that you know they're, I guess uh, they look you, forward to that. Yeah, this is that's it's. Do a, they though? It's a thing they do. Yeah, <laughs> they they look forward it, to the clout that comes from it. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's still work. It's yeah. work. I don't think. Yeah, it's, it is work because all those people blow up from it. I think like, that's that something thing. you know. Twenty years from now, they look back on and they're like tripping. Like, yeah, wow, I can't believe we did that shit. Wow. You better hope that some of that money's still around twenty years from now. That way, you like it was worth it. That's the wow. one thing I, I always say, like, what would you go back and tell your younger self? I would, like, stop spending your money. Stop. I yeah. I'm, Invest your money. I made so much money, and then I just, I used it. <laughs> yeah. I used it. I went places with it. I bought nice stuff. I bought, I paid. I was always the girl that was with some, some fucking guy. That, always a magician. I'm a, not a magician. A musician. <laughs> always broke. Always broke. I was always with, like, Somebody who sings or someone who plays guitar. Never a drummer or a bassist. Those ones work. Those ones work. This the other ones never work. <laughs> They're never dreamers. always fucking broke. The always dreamers. Broke. You like the fixer always upper broke. vibe, huh? I am got problems. I yeah. got mental problems. And then I went through a phase where I only dated DJs and I learned my lesson <laughs> from that. It's kinda like you have enough like like bad shots and you can never have that alcohol again. So now yeah. it's like no. Did, did you help a lot of hurt animals as a kid? No. <laughs> no like, I was just like, you know, I'm just I'm wondering. I was like, where does that happen? I was like, yo, fix her upper situations don't end with No. Them. <laughs> no. I just stopped. I gave it up. I gave it up. For... Which is better for you. Yeah. 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 Plus yeah. just focusing on other things. I get you know that there was a part of your growing time. Yeah. You know, got Now it. I just like foster young boys. <laughs> <laughs> mentorship program yeah i i have a it's not my fault though because it's like i'm some i don't know they're 25 they don't look 25 you know what i mean it's la nobody really ages uh, i always joke around the younger generation is aging like milk they like look older right so it's like yeah. i don't it's, fucking know <laughs> you think they're gonna look older like at a lot younger age because they're they're like oh they look older like as they're young they stress now. out faster yeah they do because they just have all, they don't know any world without being constantly inundated with data. Yeah, and it's always and anxieties <laughs> without the data. Yeah, nutrition because it's not there. What I was gonna say, yeah. nutrition too. Yeah. Like Nutri- our nutrition is yeah, really you, bad in America. Yeah, you can't just Uber Eats it your whole life, bro. <laughs> well, it mean? depends on what you're. It, it depends on what you're ordering. If you're nah, ordering, dude, no, if you're ordering bullshit all the time, then yes. But yeah. there's mean? healthy options there. It's just what you choose. Yeah. Doing vegan, I was vegan for a while. You, I got really sick. It was got, great for the first two years, and yeah. then I ended up because I was so anemic. Right. And if I'm working, I forget to eat, and so eating is not like you can't have two carrots and that's food. That's not food. So right. basically, you're starving yourself yeah. days and just eating. It's not enough. Yeah. Basically, like to get all your protein, it's like a full time job to eat. 
So yeah. I, so whenever someone's like, you should go vegan, I'm like, I already did that. Yeah. I did. And it, it doesn't work for everybody. No. Yeah. But I like it, though. I like it. And it's expensive as fuck. Yeah. It's expensive. It's there so are expensive. Some, yeah. There are some now good ve- vegan options, you know what I mean? Sure. Before, there, the, the, the menu was limited, but now there's so much shit you could make with it. But, like, I, you know, I couldn't fully commit. You know, have, now, you, have you tried, though? Like, you know, one time, like... I tried, bro. Like, I was dating this girl, and I'm just like, fuck, she went vegan. So I was just like, all right, whatever. We're going to try to make this <laughs> so work, I'm right? I'm going to go vegan, too. Yeah, no, and then <clears throat> I was I was like, all right, when we're out, I guess I'll try some of this shit. Oh, my God, dude. I did not. I could not. After a while, I was like, I'm out. Yeah. Like, I was like, I cannot keep eating this flatbread shit and all this <laughs> yeah. stuff. I was like, yeah. bro, like. Did you feel guilty when you wanted to eat, like, Hell no! Nah. I was I already I already knew I was like bitch you you this is a decision you made you, yeah. you made conscious Say, okay yeah. you're a vegan I'm not yeah right that's yeah. The, there it is I went I went vegetarian for like six months like I told like but I went into did vegan like for a week it was just no uh, vegetarian's was, easier right yeah you know, super it was just because it's just like you could still have like you know cheese and you just you don't eat meat there's, well there's cheese. There's cheese. There's vegan cheese. Oh, yeah, there is nasty, too. Yeah, bro. yeah, that but shit is, the texture but, yeah. is so nasty. No, compared to real cheese, it is no. not the same texture. Have you have you cashew cheese, almond cheese? It's, it's really good. Cotton. Or maybe maybe you just get used to it. Yeah, yeah that's. What I, I, to I be fair, I did model and I wasn't used to eating anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You just eating oh. old derbs all yeah, the time. <laughs> yeah, just like small snacks. <laughs> yeah, snacks. Word up. Um. Do we got any questions from the asylum? Uh, uh, yeah, we got a few t- comments right here. All right. We got a Jesus. Um, he's saying, I remember Rachel from Import Tuner. Oh, yeah. I remember doing that. Doing that little... Someone showed me a cover, and I was just looking. I'm like, was I ever that young? Oh, my God. Look at, look at this girl. I was so hard on this. Because I mean, remember, there was like a little bit of... And I remember I hated the picture. I was like, oh, my God, I'm fat. Yeah, I would give anything to be that fat. <laughs> that that you know, we're so hard on ourselves when we're young, you know. Yeah, I mean, I I would imagine most especially in the modeling world because you guys are like again we talked about it earlier how you're held to a certain standard and then yeah. like you know you already have everybody else scrutinizing you, but nobody's worse than scrutinizing no. you than yourself. Yeah. Right. I'm on. Mm-hmm. 300 milligrams of Wellbutrin for for my shit, so <laughs> it works. Um, yeah, because you're con- like, I was under Interscope label for a short time when I did Dolls. Damn, god damn the record industry. Oh my god. So especially for women, it's very very hard. I think I cried. One of us cried every hour on the hour. It was it was it was <laughs> tough. Good there were twelve of us. It was too many, and then yeah. they started dropping like flies. And I basically I asked. To leave like Jimmy Ivy was like just don't sing I'm like don't want to um but yeah they it was uh I'm contractually bound not to talk shit about Interscope but uh <laughs> but uh it let's just say the standard for what we were supposed to look like was outrageous it yeah. was outrageous it was also the look in the early 2000s remember like Christina Aguilera is like a stick yeah uh-huh. um so that was it you takes had, work to maintain that. You had wow. to be that, and they were working us. They, they were working us. Like, our schedule was insane. They were and probably, we hadn't even put out an album yet, and our schedule was insane. Were they watching you, what, what you were eating oh, when, yeah. at lunch? I, yeah. I would imagine. So, yeah. Hey, why are you eating those carbs right there? <laughs> thank God. You don't need those fucking carbs. <laughs> thank, thank, God thank God for hip-hop. Thank God for hip-hop. You know, that, that made thick women... Official. Yeah, baby. Yeah. More accept, yeah, acceptable for sure. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, he's right. Les is right, though. Like, That's true. I know I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to hear a really gross, embarrassing story? It's pretty gross. Okay. It's really gross. Bring it. All right. Bring it? Okay. Like, throw up gross? Maybe. I don't know. Um, so we were going to do Divas Live, and it was our first, you know, big debut in front of everybody, and... Jimmy thought it would be fun to put us all in a tour bus so with cameras. Oh, I think I know where you're going. So I picked up Melody, and we were, it was so early in the morning, and we're like, you know we're not going to eat. So we stopped. We're, we're, we weren't allowed to have junk food, so we stopped at McDonald's. And we had Because in my mind, if the sun isn't up yet and I'm driving, I'm allowed to have a mixed sandwich. So that was my thinking. Mind you, I hadn't eaten anything like that in such a long time. 
bad mistake. Um, <laughs> I also, at the time, was abusing diuretics because I was like, oh, if you just eat this and shut it out, it was like you didn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> so I got up too early and like nothing happened and I didn't think about it. So not a good combination. And then I get, we get there and Robin... I have a great relationship with Robin now, but we were all different people back then. <laughs> she has all oh. this fruit. And she's like, oh, so have breakfast. I'm like, oh, what? All of a sudden, we're allowed to have breakfast. <laughs> what the fuck? So we go. And she's like, eat it. I'm like, I don't want to eat it. And she's like, eat it. I'm like, okay. So it's fruit. It's fruit. It's fruit. <laughs> it's so early. And I'm, we're driving. And I don't feel well. I'm like, oh, no. It's the only tour bus that doesn't have a bathroom. And oh, I know that's oh. you're not supposed to do that in tour bus, right. but yeah. I was going to die. I had to <laughs> oh I had to go tell God. Jimmy Iveen what was going to happen and what I did and like whisper in his ear cuz there's cameras and everything and he oh, like man. he looks at me and he goes, "No." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Can you hold him?" I'm like, oh, "No." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, okay, okay. And I was like, let me out of this bus. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, it was so embarrassing. And I had to like run into this gas station and I'm dying. I'm just dying. I remember like Kenny yeah. from South Park. He's with the little legs. <laughs> 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 so embarrassing. And then I see these feet and it's all the girls. I'm like, are you okay? I'm like, get out. <laughs> 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 you don't need my hand through this process. But yeah, that's my. Um, you made it though. I'm, yeah. oh God, it was so Bear amazing. It yeah, it yeah. Sure. But That's the thing about being on tour in a bus. Oh. In, no number in, two. In that rule, right? You like that you, that you can't and you shouldn't. You think um, it was because of the McDonald's or what? Of course. Yes, because I wasn't allowed to eat. I wasn't allowed to eat the junk food. And then I snuck it. And so my body was like, nah. And then, and then I had to like act like I didn't eat it. I'm like, I'm fine. I'm totally. I'm just I mean, done. I was just done. Just, just the just smell. Dying. The smell of McDonald's. You're going to want to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Like. Well, when you're not allowed to have anything, yeah. it's like sweet heaven. You're like, <laughs> what did you have? It tastes Burger? even better. Yeah. Uh, I had. I just had a, a Big Mac mix sandwich Uh-oh. breakfast thing, but mm. yeah, sounds good right now. That was definitely not allowed. So my body was like, "What are you doing? <laughs> what are you eating?" Because you weren't putting anything like that in your system no. for yeah. a long time, so yeah. your body rejected it as soon as it goes yeah. in. Yeah. She was like. Mm-hmm. So that, that, you know, that's like an indicator, like a motherfucker, right there. That, like, you know, you you you're, <laughs> you're free of it, and then you have it, and you have an immediate reaction. <laughs> that should tell you that your body is cleansed of that crap, and it ain't it don't want it. Yeah, but that's a, that's also. But then, how do you explain cocaine? Well, it's a great. I mean, your body chooses. You choose to ignore the signs. You 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 ignore the signs with cocaine. Yeah, just you're like, oh, what? Do another bump. From experience, you ignore the hell out of the signs. You'll be like, my heart was just beating real quick. It's cool. It went away though, dude. Like you're like, oh, you're almost dying. It's it's gonna stop beating fast. Yeah, like. No, I I don't do it anymore, obviously, because God said no. But um, like I I. I don't know. Like I would that joke. Like have a line, relax. That was me. I'd be like, oh, I can finally relax now. Like I was just so. Most, some people are like sweating. I'm like, calm down. I'm like, yeah, this is great. It's gonna calm down. Yeah, <laughs> I had, now have a. It had the reverse effect. For yeah, you. yeah, I wasn't afraid of talking to people. I thought I had a personality. Probably didn't. But it, it does. It does do that. Those. Yeah. Things. It's at oh. certain times. Like Xavier will make fun of this certain occasion. He'll bring it up sometime. He was like. You know what's the craziest thing I heard you say when you were partying? He was like, fuck, I'm pissed. Give me a line. <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah. he was like, that is not, this does not sound like something that you, a pissed person would want to do it. But yeah. he, he's like, yo, he's like, that was your median. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, in every movie, they, they, you know, depict it like, you know, certain guys get pissed off and they do a line and then they get more pissed off. Yeah. I didn't get more pissed off. I was just like, all right, now I can drink. I'm just saying that's the way they depict it in the movies. Um, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't. I never really got into that part of it. So like, you know, oh. I knew people that did it. I know yeah. for you being a I rock recommend star, it. That's crazy that you never like partied. No, nah, I mean, because I mean, we did all our partying young, and I knew what I liked and I didn't like very early on. I was a very dope. fast young man, and I knew that I didn't like coke. Mm. You know, and uh, so I stood away from that. We did psychedelics Oof. all the time, um, and. Obviously, as we talk about it on this show many of times, and the weed, and occasionally some alcohol, but P dogs, 
Nah, I never did it. Pet dogs. That's Send Dogs. Send Dog did the P Dogs. I didn't do the P Dogs. Yeah, just he, throw Send Dogs under the hey, bus. Oh, he said it right here. Those are those PCP joints? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Never did oh, that. Oh, man. We I used don't to, even know what that is. It's, uh. What's the compound? It, it's like a they they use cigarettes or weed for this, but like they it's like what is it embalming fluid embalming or something like fluid. that? Yeah, you do dip, you and, dip, yeah. or horse tranquilizer, right? And what it just fuck? turns you into a fucking zombie Trying for like to a horse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, you just you, you you're pretty much like locked. Yeah. Um, when you're on this, you don't know how strong you are. And you are just in a whole different <laughs> fucking orbit. Superhuman, yes. Super yes, you do. Like if you get if if so if we seen a dude that was on this shit, um, he uh, it took like maybe eight police officers to subdue this dude, and uh, realistically they were having a hard time with him, so they had to call more, and they oh, wow. stuffed him in the back of this police car. And he was a, a big, tall, lanky, Kenny Loggins-looking <laughs> motherfucker, right? <laughs> Make no mistake. <laughs> um, they, they stick this guy in the back of the, the squad car, and you could see all of them were beat because, like, this dude was just out overpowering them. And he kicks out the back window. <gasps> you know, wow. this is how amped up he was on, on this shit. But this is... When you activate them, because usually when you're on that shit, you're not like trying to be crazy like that. You know, you're like really chill. It's not like you're out there running around like you're on steroids or something. You know, these guys were subduing him because someone said, hey, there's this fucking guy <laughs> drugged out in front of our our uh, parking lot. And so they came on the scene. Had they not done any of that, he would have just been wandering around aiming aimlessly and he wouldn't have bothered nobody but yeah. right then and there you figure out okay you see when someone is stronger than they really look mm, yeah. um when they're on that shit Ooh. because he he didn't look like he was strong at all but it took it took like eight to ten police officers to subdue that dude yeah. it's like on it's like, pcp it's like Ooh. when people used to drink hennessy back in the days so oh yeah if I he was fights all night if he was yeah. drunk on weed or coke it would have took like two guys, maybe three. You just tell you just tell them there's more coke in there, and they just go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we there. got more get coke in, in the back seat of the oh car. God. Yeah, man. Diet coke. Oh. Hey, we got a we got a line for you in the back of the in the back. Just back of follow us. Just go. Let's cut. Yeah. Cocaine's All right. Before drug. we go any further, let's check this out. Hey, how's it going, you guys? It's Ariana coming from you live again here at Dr. Green Thumbs LAX. We're located here at 5494 West Sentinella. That's just 10 minutes away from the airport. Uh, we got a bunch of daily deals, uh, rewards programs, 30% off for first time patients. So definitely come and check us out. And back to you guys at the studio. Thank you very much. Check out the Dr. Green Thumb locations in California. Uh, soon to be uh, opening one in Fresno um, very soon, and also Michigan. In Detroit on 8 Mile. It's going to be popping, y'all. Thank you very much for all the love uh, that we're getting for, for these uh, openings as well. Come out for the Be Real TV Takeover with live Dr. Green Thumb show experience at the OG Cannabis Cafe on April 4th from 6 to 10 p.m. We're going to have a live DJ set, uh, ce celebrity interviews, raffles, giveaways, and a whole lot more. Be sure. To make your reservations now, limited space available and seats are going fast. Is that going to be like Cal like similar to what we did for Cali Vibe? Yeah, I'm on. Okay. Uh, oh, no, no, so kind of what we used to do here, sort of. Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying, like, like uh, the same setup where we're doing the show, yes. except it's live. Yeah, I'm on. Okay. Live, like we did at uh, Woods. Yes, like, like we did at Woods. That's how it. Mm hmm. All right, <laughs> let's get into submissions. Oh, 
All right, first submission of the day here. We got Alejandro, and he's showing off some whiskey. He's saying, big shout to E-Zone. I picked up this whiskey. Best mm. surprise of the evening. I told you, man, the Japanese whiskey <clears throat> is fire, bro, especially Nika is pretty good, bro. Like, that bottle specifically is one of the higher-end ones. But, yeah, if you get if you manage to get the little square one, the little it looks like a cube, that one's... I, w I was one. checking out some Japanese whiskey the other day. They got a whole... Yeah, section. yeah, Japanese yeah, whiskey nice. is good. That's yeah, good and stuff. it's a it's a whole different get now with the way they make it. But that brand is pretty good. Suntory is pretty good. Um, there's there's a uh, Hayate, which is one of my favorites. It's hard to get it out here. I haven't seen it. Arigato. Yep. <laughs> Alejandro <laughs> saying uh, this past weekend he uh, had a, had his birthday and he played some golf, smoked some joints, and chilled with the fam. Right on. Happy yeah. birthday. Man. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's see, we got a Kato Cut. He's saying, went to in and out 420 was my in and out order. What? Paid $4.20. Oh, so That's sick. What'd you, what'd you get, like fries? You just got a cheeseburger. I know, right? <laughs> cheeseburger right there. You got it. No idea. So one cheeseburger is uh, $4.20. Well, this tax could be different, though. Depending on yeah, where you're at, yeah. 25%. Yeah. Where is this, Canada? It's like Delaware, right? Oh. There's no tax in Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, look at what that was the case over here. God. I know, right? Look at that menu. Yeah, looks way far. different than what we get. This over is here. like a time warp, is what that is. He's yeah. he's he's texting us from like the past. <laughs> I wish. What's your guys' in and out order? I don't know. It varies. Double double, well done with chopped peppers inside. So, I didn't even yo cherry coke. <laughs> they still Dude. make that. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fire, yeah. bro. Yeah. I do a cheeseburger, uh, no onions with mustard fried, and what, then a what grilled you, cheese, no onions. I do double double protein style most of the time with, with the grilled onions. Oof. I'll do a cheeseburger with a shake, and I'm good. Napoleon. I do a double double, and then I hate myself after. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good though. I immediately, I'm like, why did I do this to myself? The hate <laughs> comes immediate. Immediate. So you can't like, hate man. yourself after such an enjoyable. Experience. Oh, I can. <laughs> the people sure do. You. Okay. Make yourself throw up. Well, <laughs> like every like every woman, I'm lactose intolerant, so I just, just still will eat the cheese because of the I cheese. Hate, yeah. I hate myself. I'm like, yeah, why did I why did I do it? Our woman up there, Colton, is lactose intolerant too. <laughs> I don't know any can, woman that isn't. I can do cheese and everything pretty fine, but once if I drink like a glass of milk, it's game over. Mm -hmm. like, oh. so or ice cream too. So milk and ice cream are a no no. No for, no for cocoa. Especially like a like a whey powder, like a whey protein that will fuck my day. Up. Really? Oh yeah. So you got to have soy protein. Yep. Is that what you're saying? That's why I can't have like any of those like coffee pods because a lot of them have like powdered milk or whey in there and stuff like that. What? Yep. Damn. Minnesota. <laughs> not espresso, sir. Not espressos. Not Nespresso, sorry. No, no, <laughs> no, that no shit soy, right. though. Huh? Soy gives men yeah. Yeah. boobies. That's what Boob. they say. Moobs. Had I known that in high school, I'd have been like soy milking it up. Would've been soyed up. <laughs> <laughs> Extra soy. Please. I would have been like, I can't get it. I'm like, come on, do something. <laughs> We're such a late bloomer. <laughs> so sad. We got a Jeffro in here getting ready to cook for you on April 24th, Be Real. Got some tuna oh. and spinach. Okay. Did he right. say he wanted to cook for him, or he just added that? I just added that. Okay, added I was going to yeah. say, like... Yeah, Jeffro wouldn't say some shit like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Seared tuna. I like your green plate, Jeffro. Yeah. Come on, this, you know, hey, bro. I thought this was a Frisbee when I first saw That's it. That's pretty healthy. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, put my, I put my seared tuna and spinach on my Frisbee tonight. Why are you hating on his Ikea plate, bro? <laughs> We're going to throw it around. <laughs> Green. <laughs> hot sauce. You toss me a plate. That looks good, Jeff. That does look good. It looks healthy. Very. Spinach is very healthy, too. The fish. Bang, bang. Well done. All right, this one's pretty big. We got a Mike. He's saying, uh, made some French <laughs> toast. No. You guys think? Oh, wow, wow, wow. oh man. Uh, yeah, nice. That's a lot of syrup. Oh, uh, yeah. A little too much syrup. But like it's that, still te that texture in the middle where it's not it's enough soft. syrup. <laughs> Truly isn't. Yeah. More butter, more syrup. <laughs> just, so they're <laughs> soggy and just dripping. Just the drip is insane. It is going to taste great with the extras for sure. <laughs> oh, man. You just got to put that extra work in the next oh, day. He's, wearing, he's rocking country truck, too. Look at that. Oh, uh, yeah, man. You got to get some real butter, bro. I was going to say, this is old school. That's I didn't know they still school. made this. <laughs> yeah, oh, they still make it. <laughs> it's like margarine, right? You see it in real time right here. All so. the Latino households have it in their fridge. Yep. And that's Everybody it. in the Midwest puts their leftovers in the country. I was going to say that. My mom, like, 
She just has a million of those things. She won't let yeah. them go. We're not throwing these containers away. They're no. perfectly good for many things. That and Cool Whip. A lot of Cool Whip, a lot of Country Crock containers. <laughs> <laughs> cool Whip containers for sure. Yeah. I remember having those for you sure. You see those in the freezer and you're like, what the fuck's in here? <laughs> you know, people that yeah. don't want to shell out for the Tupperware, man. That's it right there. Old so. food. <laughs> We got Von Dubious. He's saying nine years of being married and 12 years total of being together. Oh, All right. Congratulations. congratulations. Salute. Congratulations, Von Dubious. That's good work right there. Oh, yeah. Aww. That fool's always having a good time. Well, I ran into that fool in uh, Disneyland like three, two, two times, I think, already. Oh, nice. He's hey, oh, out and about. <clears throat> He's enjoying life. Yeah, big shout out to him. He works with uh, kids at a school. Right on. Salute, oh. man. We got a gun. He's saying, uh, yo, B, mixing sesh right now in the studio. Had the Dr. Greentham show on the other day. Right on. Salute. And uh, salute to everybody that tuned in to my set yesterday. Thank you for the love. Tried some different shit. It, <laughs> it, I was surprised it worked because I had no idea what I was going to do yesterday. I swear to God. But thank you very much for that. And we got a you know, uh, mix session after this. Real psycho. Psycho Lesson myself on Be Real TV 2, Twitch. Um, B underscore Real TV is that uh, page. If you're locked in right now, just uh, stay locked in. It will start shortly after this. And uh, if you're watching from the home site, www.bereal.tv, do the same, and uh, you'll catch that mix. All right. Next. We got our boy Haas up in here just giving a big shout to Psycho Less. He's giving us the watch out now. Watch out now. Watch out now. How many people, um, <laughs> when they see you, like, scream that shit to you? Like, when they recognize it's yeah, you? It, I mean, you know, that's on the regular. That's, that's the theme, you know. Watch out now. I, I can't, you know, tell you how many don't you lo know I'm locals come at me <laughs> on fucking time. So I imagine, watch out now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> comes to you. Especially or the other you, one. You better watch your You step. better yeah. watch your step. Because you be in the bars, too. So, like, uh, people just, yeah. they feel, like, loose. Yeah, they feel loose. Yeah. Like, watch out. Now. Yeah, so they... You over here having to drink? You better... <laughs> <laughs> they probably come up to you. They feel more likely to, co to come up to you, like, especially because you hang out at a bar setting and people feel loose and they feel more ballsy. You know what I used to get a lot? But I'm... I'm, 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 I'm I'm a cool dude to approach to. Yeah. I'm easy to approach. I'm not like, you know, some people's like, they see rappers and they're like, nah, it's like, buy me a drink, I, B. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's one of my lines, definitely. <laughs> yeah. You want, you want to talk? <laughs> get me a drink. You know what I used to get a lot, though? But like before we started doing their song was jump around. Jump around. I'm like, uh, yeah. no, this is not us, but <laughs> close. <laughs> close. Thing. They probably feel like that. Uh, did you see that clip of that that news? Uh, that girl that was doing an interview and she was uh, interviewing Dana uh, from the UFC, and then she called him Joe Rogan. Oh, and oh then, God. yeah. Oh no. And then he, and then she was oh. like, he was like, did you just call me Joe Rogan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then he he called her out. It, it was kind of embarrassing if you're like a journalist. <laughs> I, I'm still that, but I'm still tripping out. Like when he walked off of the Howie Manziel podcast like you know what i'm done with podcasts and he got up and walked walked out did did anybody ever find out what that was about or I was that it, like a bit i think it proved to be staged oh yeah, it was like, staged yeah from I, I, they talked about another podcast and it looked pretty it real staged <laughs> do you remember when he like hit his wife that was good acting good acting wow that's yeah. it he went viral for that like last year remember he was all mad and he smacked her oh yeah remember that, that was <laughs> that was at a uh some event <laughs> And they didn't realize like people had their cam their phones at them. And oh, was that you know, some club or something? Right? Yeah, was that a club? yeah, dude. Oh, was that a, a New Year's Eve event? That was pissed. Yeah, was that a New Year's Eve event? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Smacked his wife. Well, he it, it was kind of like super aggressive, like like they were talking aggressive yeah. to each other. And uh -huh. I think she, I don't know, pushed him or something like this. And, and he busted and one of those like grabbing her face. He, oh my yeah. god. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was it was a bad look. It was a bad look. Did they divorce? No. No. Oh, she smacked him first. Yeah. yeah. And then well, what'd he do? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes y'all be needing a smack. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, you know, hey, like, if when we ain't acting right, for sure. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> right. I can't tell you what the conversation was at that point that caused them to do that in public. Yeah, I know, wow. right? That's crazy that yeah, they I'll did be... that in public. Both of them, really, but. Like him most especially, cause <laughs> I mean, 
That, she got him I, good I, though. She 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 did get him good. She got him good. She came up with the angle too because she shorted him. That's crazy that it, when it that it went on for a few <laughs> for for a few seconds. If he would have, he slapped her like Joe Pesci. He was like, "There's no more." Yes, there is. And he <laughs> <expected> <laughs> it. when the diamonds came out of her hair, change my picture. I'm surprised they didn't work to get this footage off the the internet. She, she, they reconciled their differences, bro. Yeah, I know that, but like, still, you know, it's out there. Yeah, that's a, that's and, and most people that don't want shit like that out there are gonna go pay to get it off, and yeah, they got yeah. they got how, the money to do. How it. many views is on that? A many. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, that shit went viral. I'm sure they're like, not. They're not mad. It, 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 that, yeah, <laughs> nah, like yeah, it, they're probably not mad. I mean, at ca- this point, at that like, caliber, though, man, like it's just like, hey, bro, like it, she's not gonna leave, and and he's not gonna leave. It's like I bet Jeff Bezos. Probably has smacked his wife for two. You know what I mean? Every well, that's assuming a lot. That's assuming a lot. In private, let's just, say this, Come on. let's just say something like that happened. Come on. But even oh, if wow. it were public, it's just like, hey, bro, you going you gonna to leave that fool? You know what I'm saying? Like, for something that wasn't that crazy. That you got a crazy imagination. I don't imagination. think you should smack her. Maybe shake the shit out of her, you know. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> shake the shit out of her, yeah. <laughs> Grab her by the shoulders. You- I, I I think she could shake the shit out of I him. I do though. think I do. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, one thousand percent. He made. She used to. Sub. She used to date football players and things like that. The newscaster like, he's, chick. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, shake me. I fucking yeah, shake dare me. you. Shake I dare me. You. Shake me. I'm gonna call one of my shake. football player friends right now. <laughs> He's like, shake me harder. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> the plastic parts are the only ones that stay still. Yeah. He's got bigger oh, muscles. Than that guy. Yeah. She's more jacked than he is. No, he's smitten. He's not shaking shit. No, yeah. Nah. No, he's that. Nah. Nah. He's like, yeah, he's, he's shaking more money on her. He's living his best uh, life right now. Imagine? Yo, wasn't he supposed to fight a uh, Facebook dude? Shaking the wallet. Oh, yeah. Was yeah, it? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's oh, Elon uh, and, and uh, Zucker. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Zuckerberg. That just uh, died out, huh? Yeah, that died out. All right. Yeah. Thank that, God. You know, yes. That, who, who pays to see that? All of us probably would have. Yeah. Or we would have known someone that was going to pay for it and went and watched with Absolutely. All right. Because... That's intriguing, kind of. Even though, like, it ain't gonna be what what we're used to seeing with real fighters. But to see these dudes throw blows, two billionaires, that'd be great. Not? I think it would just be Mark in the corner, like, no, no. Well, supposedly, <laughs> you know, he's got his little, you know, his martial arts game down with with jujitsu and uh, something else. Yeah, what what the other thing? Sleep. Supposedly, They're... he's not human. Is everyone saying he's like an alien? Or mm. <laughs> like not... That is possible too. Because <laughs> I guess so there's something else that he doesn't blink. He just doesn't blink. And I'm nervous. Zuckerberg or or, or uh, Elon Zuckerberg. Musk? Yeah. Zuckerberg. Oh, yeah. we'll have to blink. We'll have to pay attention to this. I don't know. He's just a. I'm like, I've never, I haven't really looked. See, here's a, here's yeah, his training right there. Oh, I don't know if yeah. Elon oh. Musk is doing this any kind of training. Uh, no. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. no, he got hands. I just <laughs> seen him blink right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's that's all, like, homie's not hitting back, though. This is all him just doing mitt work, yeah, you know? His, yeah. 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 But it goes to show you that he, he could throw some punches. He's more solid than I thought he was. Yes, he's yeah. more solid. Yeah, I thought he was going to, like, break. I want to see what Elon <laughs> Musk is doing. Or you, I'm just gonna wrestle you like a bear. Yeah. Hey, uh, he's, he's gonna put on hey, some yeah, robotics or something. Yeah. yeah, I don't see Mark. Giving I'm gonna create back. something that's gonna wrestle for me. Or, Elon or said fight he's gonna for me. Elon said he's gonna do the walrus and just sit on him. Mm. Yeah, all right. Elon just has his robots beat him up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna Tony Stark him. All right, go ahead. We got Herbal saying big shout to Psycho Leezy. I got the Stone Crazy album. Oh no doubt. One of the best. Salute, salute. Hell yeah, classic, big up. Junkyard. Hell yeah. What year was this? Uh, 97. That was 97. That was our first recording we ever did right out the crib in the hood. Mm. The hood, every day, Brooklyn, we was there. Hood the studio. Hood. hood, and it's one of our biggest albums. Right on. Oh, so yeah. it goes to show you. When you cut out the middleman and all the like, the engineers and all that studio. You, do it in your crib. It comes out. The sound is going to come out better because you're doing the sounds and, you know, you're cutting out a lot of... I think that's true for some things. Yeah. Y'all knew what you were doing. There's other people that try to do that and they don't necessarily hit that mark. Yeah. True. Definitely. But you could do it yourself if you if you yeah. know what the hell but you're doing. We had a team sure. also that, like, a lot of... Uh, BIC was involved. He knew a lot about engineering. and So you ha- you got to have people that know what, what it yeah, is. Yeah, for sure. You know? Hell yeah. 
Next in here, we got Herb, or no, we got a Mile High Hector having a little wake and bake, and he's asking a no joint rating. Yeah, don't ask for that. Mm. Fucking zero. I mean, that's going to do the trick, but man, yeah, don't, don't ask for the rating right now. At least it's not a funky. But hypothetically, it would be a zero. Right? Tunnel down. If I say Beetlejuice <laughs> enough times, that joint's going to appear next to that me. It could be a negative <laughs> one if it was. All right, that's just. <laughs> it looks like, you know, when like somebody loses a finger. Yeah. No nub. Little yeah. digit. It's like a half eaten candy cane. <laughs> this is what's left. A little, ya- a little Yakuza finger cut off. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know about this one. We got Pawn up in here saying uh, first harvest moon of the year in New Zealand. Noise. Okay, New Zealand. Well, New Zealand. It's New Zealand, so. Oh, it's very leafy. You got to cut them leaves off, man, to see what that even looks like. Give it a trim job, bro. For true. Australia. Mm. Is that Australia? That's, that's, that's New Zealand. Zealand. New exactly. Zealand. It's a whole different country. Yeah. They got, they got me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two separate pieces of land. Well, I'll tell you what. Oh. Um, Australia and New Zealand have some good weed there. You know what I mean? It's just you got to know the right people because most of the time, sure, it's it's like you know, there's like one source that covers both both places and you see it like you'll be in one city you'll maybe buy some of this weed and then you'll be out in new zealand in some other city and it looks exactly like this shit that you got in australia now that used to be the game now there's enough uh capable cultivators with talent that like, you'll see some good strains in in both places but before it was all one role and it a lot of it looked kind of like that straight. At least there's people practicing out that far. You know, even if it's not the best looking stuff, it's like, yeah. hey, fool, keep trying. I'm sure by now they, they probably got some. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's been, you know. Yeah, it's been a minute. And, you know, some of them guys came down here, got their education, and went back and went to work. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to know who those guys are. True that. Yeah, send a picture of the next harvest. See how better it got. Yeah, hey, you got to start somewhere. Yeah. Send me a pack. That looked like some sativa. <laughs> That looked like some sativa because the 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 buds were kind of you know like like that green looks like pretty. like stringy you know what I mean like um yeah, yeah it just needs a little trim. trim yeah it needs a trim yeah for sure <laughs> but good work hey keep on doing that man I bet it's gonna be great the more you do it the more experience you gather the better you get mm-hmm. We got Kato well, Cut saying, uh, you guys were checking out my grow last week and you thought I had a spider web in there, but it turned out to be flying cotton. It got on my white widow. Mm. All right. Mm. Flying cotton. What are you Noise. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah. That happens. Hey, it, you, you, you know, what the fuck is that a white cotton? Yeah. Cotton from a cotton plant, like wind. Oh, you know what okay. I mean? Like, because okay. I, I actually seen a cotton plant like recently in, the, you know, in, in uh, my godmother's front yard. And I was like, uh, Hell is this? And then I just I just pulled it off, and I was like, "Oh, this shit just grows." Just yeah, when the wind blows strong enough, yeah. that shit goes everywhere. I mean, it doesn't look like the cotton balls you clean your face with. But is no. that, does that fuck up the plant? No, no, right? No, you can okay. pick them off. It just, you just the way it, the cleaning process of from picking the cotton. It's like that shit's a bitch, bro. Like for it to process, <clears throat> for it to for you to make it like usable, but it's crazy. Yeah. All right. We got Midget Mike saying definitely was a good year. A lot of gems right here table if you only had ten dollars which two albums would you be buying ah uh, let me see i could tell you off top uh probably be sp- there is a dark side red man and probably mob deep the infamous the e41 and friday nice hmm good ones though man mob deep and raekwon Ooh, yeah, yeah, man. I'm, I'm doing I'm doing ODB and MF Doom. All right. That MF Doom at the, at the top? No, that's a that's a Method Man. Method Man. Oh, man. Who's KRS one? Uh <laughs> he said nah. I'll do, I'll, I'll do Raekwon. Hell oh, yeah. My favorite Wu Tang album too. <laughs> All right. Next in here, we got a, uh, let's see, we got a uh, Marbell. He's showing off a little artwork. You had, you hold up, you, Rachel had one. I, was, no, I said I only know one. Oh, you only know one? No, which because one? in 1995, I think I was still listening to Motley Crue. Oh, okay. And <laughs> okay. knew like one. That the makes fri- sense. The Friday one. That's the only one oh, I knew. Oh, the Friday, okay. It's <laughs> the only one I knew. 
That's a sick ass soundtrack. That's a good one too. Good one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't those don't the lines like the one liners they they live rent free in my head and they come out of nowhere for no reason. Yeah. They're just oh. there. <laughs> But from Friday. that movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's so many of them. Yeah. Oh, too many. <laughs> yeah. You know I love your mama. I just be forgetting sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the best lines ever. <laughs> Probably the most quoted line was, you got knocked the fuck out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got knocked the fuck <laughs> out, man. Yeah. All right. We got Marbelle showing off a little Los Angeles art. Oh. All right, Marbelle. Marbelle, look at that. Awesome. Why is that jersey looking very galaxy-like, bro? Damn. Yeah. Points LA off. Though. LA is tight. That's points off. Damn. I, I like that pick. Yeah, pick on, on LA. LA is dope. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. The zigzag. Oh, yeah, I had Marbell on my show. He's a cool dude. He did? Yeah. You guys call Colton? We tried. <laughs> I was super uh, chatting in we there. Try, we tried, but we, uh, we I don't want to wreck his uh, <laughs> yeah. debut on his first podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like a proud dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to make his, his son nervous. Oh, uh, that's ama- amazing. Amazing. I'm listening, bitch. <laughs> Should have called up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Have you guys, and we got Mike asking, if you guys seen the uh, Wu-Tang American Saga? I couldn't get no. into it, bro. I heard about it. I mean, I think I seen one or two. But I haven't had a chance to check it out. I need to. I need to finish that. I heard there's a part that they shout us out. Cool. There, where they're listening to our shit or something like that. Yeah. But salute to Wu Tang because there's always been like a brotherhood there with with between Cypress Hill and Wu Tang. So you know, salute to our brothers. Hip hop. Right. Hell yeah. We got a. Let's see. We got Red Boy just chopping down these plants. Ooh. Chopping down these trees. Ooh, Saying it's that. White Widow. Oh, my God. That thickness. Damn. It's been a minute since I had some White Widow. White Widow sounds you know, looks good. People don't preserve genetics the way they used to, bro. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's, that's the one thing. Like, I did not know that. They're they're doing that more now through tissue culture and shit. Yep. So, you know, you'll, you'll see old school plants come back. But, in the next couple of years. But, but. I, I will tell you this. If you want those old old things to come back. You gonna pay top dollar? Oh yeah! As a free, as a freaking grower, so, I'm not hey, talking about like the gonna, consumer. No, like we gonna get we gonna get the prices we need. But for you to get that pheno because it's the tissue culture you money, shit yeah. takes a lot. It's a, it's a meticulous yeah. process for it to do it. Like I didn't, I got educated on that recently, and I was like, damn, I did not know that you could like be holding on to like a certain strain, strain that could be the one for that year or the next year, and everybody mm-hmm. wants it. Shout out to Mary Genetics. Yeah. Hell yeah. We got a red boy again. He's showing off his OG Kush. He's at week 10. Nice. nice. Looks good. The ladies look great under the lights, man. Yeah, she looking yeah, tight. Baby. Sexy. <laughs> Toy. <laughs> look at the, the, the beginning of it. It just looks like hella stable. Yeah. Keep up the great work. And let's see here. We got a red boy again. He's saying he's smoking on this fatty outside, enjoying the weather. Shout out to Be Real TV and Funky oh, yeah. Field Tips. That is a nicely rolled fatty right there. I yeah. mean, if you were to ask for a rating on that, probably before you lit it even, it probably would have been like a 9 or 10. Damn. That literally looks... Right? Yeah, it looks flawless, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, look at that. But do you think they rolled it or stuffed it? You can't roll. You can't roll that on the on the roller because I've tried it before on on the different kinds of rollers. So they, I gotta give them credit. They probably did roll it very slowly. Yeah. On that, because yeah. on the bigger tips, it's easier to seal it. And once you got the base, you kind of start shaping it out. Maybe they might have stuffed it halfway or one fourth of the way. I don't know, but it's a good roll. That's a good roll, right there. I see the the double paper they got. See the. Like they added the extra yeah. paper, you're saying? Yeah. And it still looks flawless. Still looks good, too. Damn, that looks cool. That's great work. Dude is a clean roll, got a, a clean surgery. hand. Yeah. Well done. Let's <laughs> say yeah. a little, little dent right there. Nah, man, come Who on. Who are I, you? Yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> Who are like, you? Oh, is that a point right there? Calm no. Down, baby. He's not wrong. That's why you get a nine. <laughs> You would barely get a three, Bolton. How dare you? <laughs> hey, I rolled a decent joint at the uh, Astor Club the other night. I didn't even have a funky field tip. I'd use the Cali Vibes paper Does pack. Does anybody got a picture of this? Dude, somebody said rolled with AI. <laughs> oh, <laughs> with AI. Oh, damn. If you don't got a picture of it, Bolton, then what you're, doing is telling us, what you're doing is telling us stories. 
<laughs> With the picture, it didn't happen. I mean, get ready for that. That's going to be the future. AI robot in your house. Tell, I already told you. Roll me a joint. Hey, robot, roll this fucking joint, That's please. always Thank been my future, bro. I, I told you. I've been saying this for a year, bro. Yeah. And like when the, those, those robots become available, you just get... If, like, if you don't have kids, bro, you just get a robot, dude. They won't even you complain about it. got to be a lonely like, motherfucker, man. I'm just saying, You got bro. friends. I mean, you got friends, but I'm saying, like, if you're just like... They're not robots. When you're old as hell, bro, that would be the most, like, hella helpful shit. It'd be like, look, I fell, fool. Pick me up. (laughs) I fell, fool. Yeah. (laughs) Like, you know what I mean? Like, stuff. Hey, robot, I'm drunk. Come get me. Come get me. me Hey, pull over. (laughs) I'm going to send you the GPS. (laughs) (laughs) You're going to stop by Jack in the Box, robot. (laughs) Hey, stop by Jack in the Box. Come on, dude. That's the future I'm talking about, bro. That's that's an advanced nation right there. some dinner. <laughs> I need a I'm, bowl of menu though, robot. It wouldn't be cheap though. Like if you're gonna have a robot that has all that, you for sure gonna pay for it. It's gonna be like that's, that's, that's top if, dollar robot. Yeah, what if you dollar. want like a sexy robot too? Like you want? I'm sure you can get that's, those. It, that's more money. They're, those are available now, bro. Like those are like they have some wow. at the at the last weed convention and like uh like <laughs> that I went to in in Vegas. You know how they have like the fucking naughty side on on most of CES. these camps. You went to CES, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like they, yeah, you see some crazy robotic crazy. stuff and crazy. these things. These girls have like five voices that they Chapman. do. As she stated yeah. earlier, there are a lot of perverts out yeah. there. Which one did you get? I did not get any of them. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just like, I was like, what the hell, dude? This is changed up. <laughs> window shopping. That's amazing. Japanese I was there with my lady, man. I was just right there, like I was like, can you believe this shit? Is crazy. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. All right, you got any more? Uh, yeah, I was going to show. This was on a Growing With Green Thumb. Here's my joint. Oh, you say it's your joint. Uh, I give that a three, <laughs> as I stated earlier. It's not too bad. Oh, it's not too bad. <laughs> Let's look on that left side. From t- I, I can't zoom in. It's on Oh, Reddit. you can. Oddly can, enough, on, you can't on. zoom in on your own shot. Yeah, I, huh? I mean. I can't. All right, yeah. Is that what you tell the ladies, bro? It's a, it's a three. <laughs> You're used to saying I can't. Huh, three. Oh, uh, look at there you go. Uh, no, that's as much as you could do. <laughs> You're not convincing me otherwise. I was like, that looks pretty decent, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. That's cool. <laughs> if you say so. Look, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Once again, check out the mix show after this show, Dr. Green Thumb Mix Show, Real Psycho and myself. We're going to pop it off. Um, and now we're going to open up the doors to the Insane Asylum. That means y'all. So if you got a comment, question, shout out, suggestion, we're here for it. Welcome to the Insane Asylum. All right, let's do this. We got Jesus up in here saying, I know that strip club in Torrance, LOL, maybe C- minus was there when I went. I think talking about deja vu. Oh, yeah. Oh. Damn, yeah, it was... Uh, I forgot the year, but I remember me and Eric <laughs> V, we DJ'd, uh, and Lethal was there too. But yeah, it was like, and I, and I found out uh, the two and a half minute thing. Like they yeah. wanted, like yeah, yeah, it's like you gotta switch, you know, you in know, the songs you gotta song. switch them every oh, yeah. two, yeah, every two and a half minutes because otherwise they gotta pay for them. You know, license. Yeah. Oh. No, no, it was because they wanted more dances no, to be charged. No girl wants to dance for the whole fucking song. Okay. Yeah. No, you know, you know no. who told me about that? Okay. That's that's torture. Tweet? <laughs> Will. Like I would imagine, yeah. Oh, yeah. Will. Yeah. Yeah. Or they, the, the two for ones when they just cheat and they're playing for 13 seconds. It's like four songs, but they're, it's still one song. Yeah. <laughs> they oh. told me, they would tell like, they would tell me, like, keep it moving. Two and a half minutes, like two verses out. You that sounds I mean? like how most DJs DJ now. About yeah, two verses it was, pre, out. It was a pre mashup. And, yeah. 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 and then no. and then as the ones the two for ones, they were like, okay, on the two for ones, you go like one verse. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know, there needs to there needs to be like a... so because it's per song, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, to tell how many songs you get. That's the dances. Yeah, on the yeah, there has right. to be like a Guy Fieri for strip clubs. You know what I mean? Like, ah. like I I I have a friend who for sure is probably down to be the candidate for it because he's been to a lot of them, but. For sure. Imagine that if somebody like that just really went in there and be like, we're going to get the inside and all this. And they're yeah. like, yep, that wasn't it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that wasn't the right time. They say two for one. I know this song. Yeah. yeah. I don't think any strip club would be open to That's, that. I, they wouldn't, but I'm sure that the the, the consumers would be like, yeah, you know well, what? Of course I would like the to, consumers would. I would like to know what I'm getting myself into before I go spend a band in there. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Look, I mean, what's, mm-hmm. what's the perfect stripper song? Oh. 
Oh, I'm an old stripper. I don't even think they would dance to anything I used to. What was they playing? Oh, what, what were you dancing? Oh, I had like to? Def Leppard and like. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say wow. Guns N' Roses. Every every <laughs> old stripper danced to pour some sugar on me. It's perfect. Yes. It's, it's perfect for pole dancing. I used to have a candy house that I would come out of, and I had these like lollipops. You have props? Things. Oh, I'm not, I was like, yeah, I was really competitive. <laughs> you have like the presentation is like the carrot everything, top of strippers. Every, everything. <laughs> I had like a what I have this like ridiculous Girl Scout uniform that I got from trashy lingerie, and I had literally my friends were like, I hate you and your props because I made them like really glue stuff <laughs> on the yeah. Presentation. Uh, presentation was everything. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if I could still like twirl a lollipop. They're like this big. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I think the only props they bring these days is like a BBL. You know? <laughs> That's the only props they bring in. Huh? Yeah, bro. A like, BBL. These are Damn. these are the props. Yeah. 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 Real quick. Mm. They don't put enough effort. But I was like, that sounds like an experience. I was like, damn, man. I was like, it sounds like a like a puppet show and a strip dance, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you get the entertainment value is off the top. Yeah. So much. I think I would, might have been doing too much, but. <laughs> Not for the people that were watching you. They I guess, yeah. Uh, yeah, totally right. appreciated it. Yeah. I would think. Yeah. yeah. All right. Do, get, do one thing. Have you, have you, do the best at it, right? You right. Know, right. You got to be the best no at it. No matter what, what it do. is. No matter what it is, you got to be the best. That's true. So. We got the uh, alphabet in here saying plant-based foods uh, that taste like meat are actually good. He's saying the burritos and tacos are fire. He's saying uh, tastes like a street taco don't, stand, don't but it's vegan. Don't kid yourself. I don't want to hear no more. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> I, I second that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's someone telling themselves that so that they yeah. can, you know, like accept it and yeah. be like, yeah, you know, this is just like that. Yeah, dude, you don't know how many But I guess, you know, hey, for health's sake, if if you're really trying to do that, you got to sort of convince yourself that. Or, or you could yeah. just not eat the, the yeah. stuff they tell you. And you, know, and you know <laughs> they're making this in, in a factory. It's all chemicals. It's not even real whatever they're telling you it is. You know? Some of it. Well, yeah. your, your taste buds forget what regular food. You, you really do. You're happy with it because you kind of forgot what. Your taste Actual. buds, but your body will let you know that you. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Like your yeah. taste buds might forget, bro. But when you start burping and you hit your stomach, yeah, that, your body will let you know. Let it's like, you know, hey, like, food. This, this is like this, sewage. Yeah, yeah, but your body's like anything. It'll adapt to anything you put it through and the fuel that you give it. Cause I've tried, like, did you, have you fucked around and tried the Impossible Burgers and stuff like yeah. that? Mm -hmm. Like, and I, I've, I've tried, tried I, I I've fucked tried around it. and tried it, and just like how they have the fake chicken at the LAFC stadium, mm -hmm. and I just. I just can't fuck with it, bro. I can't really get down with it. Even if it's like that's the only thing available, I just can't because it may trick my my mind and my taste buds to fuck with it. But once it starts being processed, it's like, hey, for my stomach knows I pulled a fast one on it. Your right. stomach's right. like, how dare you eat yes. a vegetable? Yeah. <laughs> Body's going to tell you. What the fuck like, is this? How, yeah. Sir, how dare you put a better option into me? <laughs> the audacity. It's like, where's the fucking hot right. Cheetos? We had no vegetables. No vegetables. <laughs> I am not do no, man. Don't, <laughs> like, don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't confuse me with the hot Cheeto addiction. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, next. Big shout out to OG Diamond and the real Cuban B. Thank you so much for the super chat. Salute. And uh, Von Dubious kind of talked about this in submissions, but he sent in a super chat saying, Happy nine year anniversary to me and the wifey, my ride or die for many more years. Yeah. Hell yeah. Happy oh, anniversary. anniversary. Von Dubious. Much love to y'all. Happy nine year. And he's actually saying on this day last year, we were at Disneyland and met E-Zone and his girl in XG. Hell yeah, salute. I remember that day. Yeah, that, oh, I yeah. forgot. We were walking around at the, that train, that, that fucking crazy Western train. I think you might have been there, see? I went there the first time, right? I, yeah, I think you might have been there that yeah. day. You were just, We stopped by the bathroom because of you. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and then you were just like, dude, we just met a fan. And you were like, what? Oh, word. Yeah, yeah that, you were there. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, hell yeah. Were you shrooming? No, that was not the day I stopped doing shrooms. So, yeah. Yeah. Not yet. No, it was like two more trips after that. And I stopped. I, I have not fucked around with shrooms ever since. I'm but cool. you've doing gone a good too one. much. Was uh, but I'm bad. cool, bro. I respected the shrooms after that. And I'm old like, Dean. Right. Old Dean. And Disney. Nah. Nah, it's not old Dean. It's, it's just doing too goddamn much. It's just push it to the <laughs> limit. Limit! <laughs> when you push the limits, you will either yeah. learn... Or you will keep going, bro. Walk yeah. along the racist edge. Yeah, you know. Nah, not at Disneyland. I could not <laughs> no. push the limit <laughs> yeah, at Disneyland. It's There's just any too... kids there. It, well, that... Yeah. And it's crying. Too much going on. <laughs> yeah. Too, you know what I mean? Like, 
people coming at you and and going and like man nah hell no i could not do it in that that the heat, scenario the heat now nah, the yeah. heat is not necessarily a factor for me but it's it's more or less just the chaos of you know people going back and forth and you know trying to <laughs> absorb all that shit huh they're just walking aimlessly yeah, okay, yeah. well i mean <laughs> At, I guess at, at, at a Disneyland or in Magic Mountain, the aim is to get on these rides, but it's like, you know, as you're getting to the ride, get, getting to the ride is a fucking journey, you know, and all this stuff is happening and you're trying to like process it while you're like, I think a, a beer and a joint, you good in Disney. See, That's Biro, all you need. You don't need too much. You have it done. I'm telling you, whenever you're ready to do, <laughs> to do, the, to do the VIP experience because i could pull that card because you know obviously you're like a legend in the <laughs> music game i could pull that card and you can be you can you can ride all the rides and enjoy i don't want to ride no fucking all the ride. time <laughs> I, I think it would be great if you just if you just if you just gave it rides. once one one more chance <laughs> go. hey, take your little one you know what i mean Dude, i love the rides over there yeah, the you best. gotta try the ride <sighs> when's the last that. time you went there be real where to, to to a theme park period Battle down baby i don't know it's been a <laughs> couple yeah, two, two two and a half, three years. You need like just that. like that little spark of like, like fun. <laughs> Look, I stopped getting on the rides a long time ago. <laughs> but these are like safe rides, bro. I'm not that, taking you to Six Flags. That roller, yeah, roller coaster did. spark. Ah. Like, what is it? Hey. Michael Eisner wants you to come back, bro. He's not gonna hey. hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> to kiss my ass. Hey, Magic Mountain is dangerous. I'm sure with those coasters. I'm sure those coasters are dangerous. <laughs> Bring me a bag. I'll you know said then I'll <laughs> I'll risk my life. <laughs> I'll risk my life on a bag. No. Uh no, nah, it's just I can't. That shit would be funny to see you at a theme park though, just because you know like, shit. We used to do it all the time. We used to go like a pack of us and just, you know, when we were younger, we could deal with being shroomed out in a place like that. Yeah. In, in this age, hell no, I could not take that. I'd be like, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> I need a more serene type of setting yeah. here because this shit is crazy. I think because your mind is ready for something different when you're younger, and when you, I think when you're older and you mature, it's like you don't you don't want all that crazy busyness happening. Beer and joint, uh, you good? No, yeah. it's not. It's not about that. <laughs> like uh, you know, I could sh mu do mushrooms now. It's just like the settings that I'm more um, embracing than I was back then are different. Yeah, like I could, we could do mushrooms and get on stage and rock a show and that wouldn't be shit to us we'd be like tripping in the moment but it's something we would do i i could not even think about doing that right now i'd get too fucking distracted Sheesh. i'd get too distracted i'd be like you know like just tripping off <laughs> everything yeah just saying dude one day see the characters when, mickey when, mouse when, and when you really man, i don't know i don't know how, how old you know uh your daughter is now but Eventually, the Disneyland conversation is going to come up, and I'm going to get a text message from you. Oh, I get the Disneyland conversations all the time, bro. It's just, <laughs> I go when I go, and I don't when I don't. But I'm saying either way, if I'm there, I'm not, like, the one to, like, get on the rides. You're the dad that sits at the end. Like, I'll wait. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll wait on you. I'm sits right at here. The end, like, I'm, I'm a pussy. You into the rides? No. No, no rides? No, I, no rides? I, I, funny, because I've always had like a pass. So I'm best with people that have kids because I'll show up at two o'clock leisurely, take the little one and go do all the princess shit. I hate rides. I will hold everyone's stuff like, no, no, <laughs> the jackets. I'm mom. I'm Any like, ride? My dad, my stepdad used to force me to go on those things when oh, I was a kid. Mm. And it's like, it's, I have a panic attack, like an absolute, like I think I'm going to actually die. So. See, yeah, when when you want to go, it's different. When you're yeah. forced to go, yeah. it, it, it becomes traumatizing. They got me. Brutal. Like for me, I used, <laughs> I used to love to go. But, yeah. you know, when I hit my 30s and I went I, I went to Magic Mountain and I hit some of those older roller coasters that were the wood style. Ooh. Uh. They're irking jerky, you know what I'm Dude, saying? Dude, they hurt. Colossal. Fucked me up. Colossus is oh. gone. Colossus, yeah. Yeah, yeah Colossus. I rode that shit. After that, I was like, I don't want to get on any more roller coasters <laughs> after that <laughs> shit. I'm like, and I was barely 30 then, you know what I mean? So I know. I go on one of these damn roller coasters right now. My body Technology is Technology gonna... has changed, B. I know it has, yeah. but I have not. But you know what? Yeah. It's, 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 good, it's good to spark the body back up. Like, spark that up. All right, you could, you could go for me. Then. Let's, How let's about go. that? I'll, 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 I'll roll with y'all. 
Wait, Never you could get on the ride. I, and I'll there's a couple waiting. rides I'll get on. Like, yeah, you yeah. can't pass Wait. on that. See, minus is still alive. Yeah, I'm still here. You gotta live. Look at me. Yeah, well, oh, he went on the ride. Yeah, hell yeah, I still do. <laughs> hey, I'll it, fuck up a teacup. It's it's. <laughs> see, that's the one. I'll fuck up a teacup. That, see, I'll fuck up a teacup. That's the one I never fucked with. That's because I could not. Yeah, because I couldn't spinning. stand that part. That I didn't was. like spinning and psh, nah. It makes me feel like that scene in the Sandlot with the tequila song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about how about they used to have that? Um, I know you you remember you guys have to remember this. So he he's not gonna remember this, but there used to <laughs> there used to be that toy where you sat there and you spun yourself. What was sit and spin? Uh, oh, sit and spin. Uh, sit and spin. Yeah. What a horrible name! Oh, yeah. Yeah. sit and spin. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> right? what it was called, right? Wasn't it called that? Yeah, sit and spin. Yeah, One of these. Yes, this that. crap right here. Oh. Uh, if dizzy faded. Uh, we just want our kids to get dizzy and fade out real quick so that they can leave us the fuck alone for half a heartbeat. That's what that toy was. I remember like the big balls that we would. They, yeah. Like, they're huge and just bounce around, but you always yeah. fall over and hit your head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They still make those in certain places. Crazy. All right. What else you got? Uh, we got Matt up in here just saying pro pen or no pen. Salute to the fam. Cheers to the table. Thank oh, you yeah. so. Thank you so much. I just actually drop off some pens at a Green Angel in the Valley. They're a one stop shop in the Valley, and check out my story and all the other places for all those stores we're in. Central Valley, though, I appreciate you guys. You guys have the five top stores to sell all the pro pens. Thank you. Oh, yeah. We got Hanson giving us the hashtag Be Real TV saying, would love to win a ticket. Stay high, bros. Stay high. We got S9 saying, a Cypress crew sounds dope. Just saying, and you're welcome. I'll be in town all week. Try the fish. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I went right line. Word up, Dom. I was going to see. I see the uh, Rock the Bells cruise. That's happening in November of 2024. Look at that. Look at that. Sick. Look at that. Yarakis, E40, Rakim, Talib, Diggable. Be real. Nope. We're going we gonna to roll up. Yeah, I know. I, I was going to say, nope. like, I know you don't fuck with the water like that either. Fuck I don't days? either. Fuck the ocean. Oh, it's hey, I've done it before. Yeah, man. Uh, fuck the ocean. Uh, you just got to go in non dangerous waters. Okay, I mean, I, I mean, if it's a one day cruise, like, like we, we come go, back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, 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 I might fuck with around that. with that because I've been like in like <laughs> island where I'm just like, but like, nah, a I'm not. Three hour tour. A three day hour. Man, why you got to bring that up, bro? Now it's like, I'm not doing more than two hours. Man, <laughs> it's more than two hours. Huh, say what? I love boats. Boats are the best. I want to live so on you, houseboats. So you've done what? You've done oh. cruises? Yeah. 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 I don't. I. I don't notice. I have my friends who are seasick. I don't. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. Hmm. I was wearing heels. There's shit in the water. Drinking. <laughs> There's shit. Yeah, in the I mean, I mean, I heard you know a lot of these ships nowadays. It's like you got the disco. Check yeah. the club. Yep. You got the Oh, yeah. It's bar. like a rolling city. Yeah, you, you know got everything. Yeah, so it's like pools. Mm-hmm. Like, I just can't do it. Not for me. The Megalodon out there. Like, if the like me, I'm me not looking at it like that, but, you know, yeah. Me personally, for a vacation, I would like to fly somewhere, stay in a hotel, and then go do all the pool, all that, and not be floating in the water. I don't know. Yeah, I, feel I don't know. I feel you on that, like not be floating into like where something, or not just something, like a shitload of things call that home. Yeah, I don't want to yeah, be. Yeah. <laughs> like, I could jump in a car. We could go downtown to the city. Like if I think I'm setting things, up, like you know, yo, like if it's like humans, it's like yo, we think it's like yeah, we're gonna set up camp here. Like bro, this is a skid row, bro. This shit lives <laughs> under they, here. They go to different <laughs> ports on every, you know, like when they At go. At any to... moment, be real. Something can swim under there. Like this ocean no. is vast, bro. This but is the true. ships are big. They're very big. Have you ever been on one? They're huge. Like you They're don't huge. even you don't even feel yourself in the yeah. ocean actually yeah. moving. I, I've never been on a cruise that took off, but I've been on a cruise boat and like done the whole tour. I'm just like, oh, this is cool. Like, but I, I don't know. It's just bro, like that shit just don't sit right with me. I don't fuck with the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Yeah, the ocean is scary. Respectfully, <laughs> respectfully, yeah. yeah. With all due respect, sir. Oh yeah, did you see there was a a, a cruise boat that uh, just their engine or their what do you call it uh, exhaust where the exhaust comes out of the ship, caught mm-hmm. fire. And this was like its third time or something like that. <laughs> People that were going out that day, they like they had they were scheduled to go out that day. They had to cancel everybody's shit and put them on another boat. Damn. Dude, oh, you, wow. could get, you could get real. We're going to need a bigger That's boat. Oh, oh my God. You know what's another thing about cruises, Pyro. too, is that like, 
if you don't have a good immune system and you go on one, you, you can get, you sick, get sick real yeah. quick, bro. Yep. Like, I'm talking about your vacation went from a vacation to a fucking, like, hey, bro, yep. I'm miserable. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Like, I it, thought I had anxiety. Jesus Christ. Just, you know, you don't want to go nowhere. It's just, with, <laughs> it's just with the water. I'm, you know what yeah. I mean? On land, I, I'm down. He's just, land. Yeah, just, but just. It's like, the, I feel Disneyland's worse because there's children there. I mean, Children are little petri dishes. Well, I mean, I got. I, I go yeah, there when with, it comes to have sick, you, germs, yes. Yeah, you yeah. Get, people sick. take their kids to Disneyland sick as fuck. So. Yeah, I mean, oh, I, well, yeah. I don't interact, or I don't. Nor do I have kids, but it's like I got a, I got a friend who's a chef there. So whenever I go, I kind of get this little. I get escorted and shit, and it's Ooh. chill, you know. Do you go? Do you go in the little grotto? I've never thing? gone in the tunnels or like the, the grotto. No, there's like a restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah, the little the the that little. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah we've been there. Yeah, yeah. we've all heard of. Big shout to Mad Ways, Mr. 87, and Tony B, and Bosco Drummer. Thank you so much for the super chat. Salute. Thank you very much. We got Humble asking, Rachel, how was it working at the comedy store um, back then? Any ghost stories? You worked at the comedy store? Uh, I was just at the comedy store in La Jolla. Okay, just the whole, I was like, oh. um, I mean, I've done the ballet room and stuff here. That one's haunted too. What the hell? They say it's haunted. I don't. I didn't. I you don't never know. felt nothing there. Honestly, the comedy store in LA, there's something about it that I that is makes I don't know makes me nervous. It's kind of like um, I always thought it was just because there's too many rooms and it's it's like when you you're in high school and you're new. Right. That's what mm. it feels like. But um, it's for me, it doesn't feel very welcoming, just the hmm. building itself, not the people. It is a little weird, I will say. Is there a story behind it at all? Supposedly, a lot of people die there because a hmm. mob used oh. to, like, kill people. That's what they say. Right. I've heard so many weird things. Then I heard that, wow. like, I guess they gave, like, abortions in the belly. I'm, that, I don't think that's true at all. Yeah, I, don't, I, I definitely don't. do think the mob thing's probably true. Yeah, the mob yeah. is true because it's been proven. There's documentaries on it as well, like, with the tunnel that connected tunnel. it up. So, like, a lot of people, low, high-profile people, would just meet up at that house at the top and walk down to the comedy store and have that mm. get down there. However, though, I mean, I, I mean, you, I mean, especially, like, being, you know, fucking with the Santeria stuff, like, you know, you become more sensitive to a lot of entities or whenever there's a presence. But I spending a lot of time at the comedy store and going to certain rooms. You and, could feel and it. Do, and like, you know, doing illicit activities in certain rooms and, and, and not and just being there. You There's certain rooms that have a presence. Like there was, oh, an, o- sure. there was an office one time that we were not supposed to be in there because it's a very like, hey, bro, like this is out of respect. And RIP, this is this person's office. And we decided to do coke there. Of course you did. Oh my. Yeah, dude. And I, and I just felt this like I've never felt so uncomfortable where I was just like. Because they were letting you know yeah, you were being disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like I, I was like this because there's a shower in the room next door. I was like, that shit's going to turn on. That shit's going to turn on. That shit's going to turn on. I was like, I'm going to get out of here before it does. You didn't hear. You didn't hear. Hey, yo, Chichi, get the yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Get him. Yeah, but it, that one is for sure is haunted. I'll be it there. I'll, I'll be there on the first for the George Perez's birthday. Be real, will be there in the house as well. True. Get your tickets. It's almost sold out. Dope ass lineup. I'm going up second. All new material. Make sure you guys check it out. Right on. We got a A Losi saying, "Hey yo, I tried that Discord B movie night the other night, and it was pretty damn fun. Then I jumped into the music stream in the Discord. I was vibing to the beats and some bars. Thank you guys. Yo, right on. B movie with Eric Bobo. Yep." And we got a midget mic up in here. Rachel, he always asks this question to every guest. He's asking, <laughs> Rachel, name a rapper who gets no airplay in your car. Oh, God. <laughs> There's probably so many. So many. Um, I was listening to Taylor mind. Swift before I came here. So <laughs> probably a lot. Probably a lot of them. I, I don't. <sighs> There's not one. You're really you putting pinpoint. me on the spot. <laughs> There's not one you could pinpoint like that. Like, a, like, let's just say it came on and you were like, ugh, nah. Can't like, do this. If there's no one you go out of your way to not listen to. No. All right. No. There you no. go. I work out to that stuff. So I just like, I don't know. The more degrading it is, the better work. I don't know why. <laughs> if you ever go to like Pil- Makes hot, you Pilates, mad and shit. hot Pilates classes, there's all these like gorgeous girls, a instructor, and it's always the nastiest, most degrading <laughs> <laughs> fucking music. And we're just like, Work everyday enough. leg day and we're P- loving it we're just Pilates loving it. The six, yeah. sexy red yeah we're just, just all <laughs> drop it like it's hot we're dropping it like it's hot for sure nah bro the word I, like I, they play started playing I remember I heard uh, sexy red like with that Drake song he's like bend that ass over let that coochie breathe right and, I and, right so alright so I'm, I'm, I, 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 my headphones were not turned on yet and I'm like stretching before I get on the treadmill 
and everything. And then I hear that song go on <laughs> and it starts playing and that, you know, the chorus starts going and you just hear it be skipped. Cause like the one person that's there at like five 30 was like, fuck dude. Like, like if somebody yeah. records this, we can get in trouble. That's yeah. the uh. best song. I, pl- I, I, if you've ever looked at my stories, there, there's all these people that just use that. There's some girl, woman that's singing it, and she's not singing it bad, but she's also not singing it good. Right. And people just do like the, they make their own, use the audio. Yeah. I, it brings me so much joy. It brings me so much joy. I, <laughs> if I find a new one, I'll just post it. No caption. <laughs> I just need to share this with the world. Just need to this give is, it out. I love that song, and I don't know why. <laughs> It's a catchy song. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, <laughs> like where I was just like, yeah, I was like, this is very like. She's what? having a good run yeah. right now. I mean, he's not lying. You know, you got to let it breathe. You got to let it breathe. She is not lying. She is not lying. <laughs> yeah, let it breathe. Yeah. He and she is not lying. All right, what else you got? Uh, we got Aton saying Rachel's friend uh, said they were definitely listening to Taylor Swift on the way here. <laughs> nice. Cosign. Yes. Have you seen her live or not? I haven't seen Taylor Swift live. I don't an know. Earthquake what? down there. I know. Isn't that amazing? Crazy. Amazing. She's killing it right now. Was that B? Is that just commented it? Probably. Yeah, shout out to you, B. Hi, B. It's back there. And that seems to be it. Word up. Thank you for um, all your comments, suggestions, and shout outs. Love y'all. Thank you for the positive energy, positive vibes, and uh, all the rest. Uh, once again, check out the mix show after this. And we want to thank Rachel for sitting there with us first thank of many times. So and, uh, you know, good luck on your next set. Thank you. I know you're going to kill it. Thank you. And uh, you got any shout outs you want to give? Oh, just to B. Gutierrez for being in the other room over there and checking in on me. Every once in a while she comes in, are you Because <laughs> we weren't sure if I was going to pass out with the weeds. So you did fine. I was yeah. fine. No poor people weed on this table. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Good. Hell no. Good. Hell no. Excellent. It's a good room. It's a good room. Do you got a contact? It's a good room. A what? A contact. No. Oh, all right. I lived yeah. through two thousands. I don't think I get those. Yeah, you don't get those anymore. <laughs> are you You're hungry? way past are, yeah. are you hungry? <laughs> no. Oh, damn. Right. Well, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I was hoping you would be because tacos del prieto. Is, oh, well, I'll no. eat tacos even if it's not. Yeah, well, you know, they're catering <laughs> out right now afterwards. So oh, it's going to be okay. tacos afterwards. Shout out to tacos del prieto. Okay, now I'm hungry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Power Immediate. suggestion. Let them know where to find you. Oh, uh, Instagram at R Sterling Comedy. Right on. Yeah. All right, C minus. Uh, shout out to everyone here at the table. Uh, uh, shout out to everyone in the Treehouse crew. Shout out to everyone that watches. You can follow me at C minus Fan Four on all social medias. And we'll be back tomorrow for the show. Tomorrow we're doing late, right? Yeah. Late. And then we do the mix show right after. So we'll be doing a, a mix myself, Psycho Leasy, uh, Javi Lopez. Uh, B and uh, yeah, appreciate it all and uh, have a great night. See you tomorrow. Five, like a lazy. Yo, yo, um, I want to shout out everybody on the chat hanging out with us. Shout out to Rachel for coming through the Dr. Green Thumb Squad. You know how we do get ready for the mix. It's Thursday, we're about to blaze. Let's go. Bolt. Shout out to the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys. Shout out to Ray Morning Shot Films. Shout out to the Dominator and uh, what's going on, E Zone. Salute to everybody from tuning in. Uh, salute to Mary Genetics for bringing Tacos del Prieto for catering today so we could all enjoy some good tacos today uh, after the show. Go to flavorsbyezone.com uh, for uh, all the new merch. And uh, there's a new episode, well, the first episode of the season for High and Hungry coming out at the Food and Wine Festival. Uh, DCA is coming out. And the new season is in production. So expect new episodes for sure. So follow High and Hungry TV. If you took notes... Don't be afri- afraid to try something different. You never know what you unlock. Swallow that.